Hello there ladies, gentlemen, unicorns. Can you hear me? Because I'm not quite sure if I disabled the microphone or not. Either way, um, well, I'm having, I'm having some levels there, so it should be good. Greetings! Thank you so much for dropping by. Welcome to part two of Phil Plays Your Ludendare 46 games. And we have a great show today because there are still so many games there. Let's have a look at the chat. And people say, hey Phil, how's it going? Hi, Painite, Panite, sorry. <laughs> and uh, Frank can hear me both on Twitch and YouTube. So this means, um, do we have an echo? because I try to make sure that I'm having <laughs> all my own uh, monitoring devices switched off. So uh, QQ6 says, hear you loud and clear, wonderful. By the way, uh, I, I think I've managed uh, to have the chat on uh, Twitch and YouTube uh, connected via Stream.io so that uh, there's a chatbot uh, on each of those chats to relay messages. So I will answer in either one of those windows so you might see my username pop up uh, somewhere uh, from, from the other channel. Okay, so... Um, Remco says, no echo, this is already something, as you all know, this is the channel where we are, we go all in with our technical difficulties and today uh, it was a close one to, to finish on time uh, because I revamped a bit uh, my RNG2000, the random number generator that's picking your Ludum Dare games. Okay, so we already have some people watching, it's 13 here and... Also, some people on each uh, on each on on Twitch. <laughs> I don't know how Twitch works, but since there are people in there, I would think that uh, yeah, we can start to get going. For those who are new to this uh, uh, stream, hello! Uh, thank you so much for dropping by the first time. Um, as always, um, the uh, mode of me playing your games works like this. Uh, I'll be playing a game, a random game that has been that was submitted to me via a form. And just to be sure, this time I got it here. This is the submission form for games. There I paste it on YouTube and also in the chat on Twitch. So if you've submitted your game to me, your game is in the run. I will create now live uh, uh, a CSV file, uh, which will uh, my random number generator will take and will pick a game at random. Okay, so uh, with that being said, let's switch over to my wonderful desktop. If I manage to. And now I'm small again. This looks good. Okay, so uh, Phil Motion VD, do we need to re-enter if we submitted the game last time? This is a good question, but no, this is not a lottery. I don't, 
I don't want you to worry each week uh, to, to resubmit your game. I mean, there would be no point in that. So if you've already submitted your Ludum Dara 46 games, um, you're already on the list. We will take a peek at the list right now, by the way. So I have um, 103 um, rows there. That is 102 entries. Uh, the green ones I have already played in part one and the yellow ones here uh, are Sorry, this was not intended. Um, those here with a yellow yes there, those are the games of my patrons and their games are guaranteed to be played. Um, it's a lot this time. <laughs> so uh, every other game that I'll play will be one of my patrons starting from the top. And what's in between is, well, this is up to the RNG 2000. Okay, I tried and I can't resubmit anyway. Yes, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that everyone just submits their game only once because, uh, yeah, it, otherwise it would be a bit unfair because uh, I'm using also a, a weighted randomness. That means if it was your first time participating in the Ludum Dar, your game is twice as likely to show up. Okay, talking of uh, uh, the RNG 2000, let's create uh, the CSV file for the RNG 2000. Um, by the way, uh, again, if you're new to this, the RNG2000 is a random number generator, as the name would imply, which I coded in GameMaker and I made it open source. Uh, the whole project that you can have a peek uh, yourself at what it actually does. Since I nicked uh, the random weighted randomness from uh, Stack, uh, uh, Stack Overview, I wanted to say Stack Overflow, uh, we can all be sure that this must be working. Um, if you want to get this random number generator, you can find it at pixelprophecy.com slash stuff. And in this wonderful Joomla accident, you just find it under downloads, tools. There's the RNG 2000 and under sources, you will get the RNG Game Maker project, which is here. Wonderful. The RNG 2000, the version that I'm using today, uh, is still hot from the compiler because I implemented uh, 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 the possibility to have this link here to the respective games also to be automatically copied to my clipboard so that I can paste it into the chat right away and it saves me some headache. But it cost me a lot of headache before starting the stream because I just <laughs> I really needed to get it uh, sorted on time. Okay, uh, YouTube says, uh, the Twitch stream still says Tetris 99. This is wonderful. Why the hell does it... Oh yeah, it's, it's still the game is still for Tetris 99. This is not correct. I just... Thank you for pointing this out. I deleted it and now it says just stream language English. So I... I hope it should update now. Yeah, I was playing Tetris 99 uh, on Wednesday uh, on, on Twitch and I think this is why it still says that. Okay, um, so this is now here the list of all the games that I haven't played and who aren't uh, uh, of my patrons. So let's uh, download this right now. And no, this I didn't want to overwrite the link here. <laughs> so um, let's save it as a text file. There we go. And yeah, that should have that should have worked. Let's have a look at the text file itself. Yes, you can see in comparison to last time, now I also have all those uh, links there. Cool. So um, if there is nothing else to add to this, well, maybe one thing, I'm sorry that I'm scratching my nose. It it must be the weather tomorrow. It, it will probably be warm on this as well. The tip of my nose is itchy, so uh, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm scratching it. Uh, the other thing is whenever I say the magic word that is unicorn, you don't see me pointing at the unicorns, those ones. <laughs> um, let's have a sip of water because it's good and healthy to stay hydrated. And what better way to do this uh, but by thinking of unicorns. This sentence didn't go anywhere. Okay, wonderful. Um, let's uh, start the RNG 2000 then. And it asks me for this CSV file, which is, of course, this one. And, um, oh yes, there was one uh, thing. Uh, please let me know right away if the audio levels of the game that I'm playing is too loud or too low, because last time I, I rewatched my last stream and there were some issues there, because many games have a high variety of different uh, mastering levels. Okay, so 
let's start the RNG 2000 and have it pick the first game of today. And it is Seeds of Hope, The Last Stand. And now let me try to paste it there in the chat on YouTube. Wonderful, this is the correct link and do the same there also on Twitch. Now we have it twice. Uh, I don't know why I did this, but yeah. <laughs> With this whole chat relay bot, um, I'm still a little bit at a loss and I just want to make sure that we have it. Okay, so it's CSV line two. So let's take it out here of the CSV line two. I wanted to implement this, uh, that it does automatically uh, update the CSV, but yeah, I didn't manage to finish. So um, let's have a look at the actual entry seeds of hope. And fill the menu row to sheet. There we go. Raid on Twitch is happening. Is this good? Is this bad? Lilo Cormick just told me there's a raid on Switch. So, uh, like I said, I'm completely new and oblivious to what's happening on, on Twitch. So I, I think I said Switch, did I? Didn't I just now? Anyway, so I think a raid is good. Like I said last time, raid sounded to me the first time I heard it. Oh my God, uh, my channel is being hacked or raided. <laughs> So here we are, Seeds of Hope by Corbeck Games and Friends. How to pronounce the name Lou? That's a short pronunciation for, the, for such a long title, but let's go with Lou. Okay, so um, Lou, you know what? This is something that I also forgot the last time, um, is to notify people when I'm playing their game on Twitter. So let's do this. Hey. I'm playing your game right now on stream with a lot of typos, so I should have done this earlier. Sorry for uh, watching me type. <laughs> so I'm just pasting this here so that I can copy and paste it there also to YouTube and just add the links to the stream that is here on Twitch and on YouTube. copy and tweet. Wow, okay, so finally. Anything else is, thanks for giving exposure to Ludum Daradevs. Oh, you were very welcome. And uh, now it's time to be exposed by me. This sounded weird. <laughs> Phil, can you please refresh the sheet I just added my game? You know what? We will do this after playing this game. So uh, thank you for submitting. And yeah, let's let's always refresh the games that I've been playing and refresh the CSV file. If I notice that there is another game there. Yeah, I can see it. I can see your game already there. So yes, we'll do this after playing this one. I just closed the browser. Very nice. Uh, there we go. Seeds of Hope, The Last Stand. And apparently it is a gem game because there are many people involved. So this is already an accomplishment <laughs> to project manage all those different uh, contributors to your game. Okay, so let me get my things in order here. Yes, this is OBS Studio. It's still running wonderful. And YouTube is telling me that it still receives data. Uh, last time we had the problem that there was the very first game that was hogging all my GPU power and the stream just crapped out. <laughs> so, um, Seeds of Hope, the last set. The end is near. At the helm of humanity's last spaceship, oh, it's a sci-fi game, you must survive long enough to send probes filled with seeds and humans to preserve life somewhere hidden from destruction. Or life somewhere, comma, hidden from. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where uh, I went with this sentence. Manage your crew and upgrade your ship to hold your own against the waves of dreadful aliens and send as many probes as possible before your inevitable demise. Good luck, Captain. How to play? Left click on a room to select it and left click on a character to select it and right click to move it. I have so many uh, FTL uh, uh, memories just coming up, just looking at this screen. But for one thing, uh, when I mean, this looks a lot like FTL from the overall layout there. But one thing you've already nailed, and that is your game looks already prettier <laughs> than FTL. I have, I really have to say. Inspired by the great FTL game. Yeah, okay, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I already noticed it, so yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry for not finishing uh, uh, your introduction. P.S. Playing full screen for more comfort and don't forget to post your highest score in the comments if you want. You also have the possibility to play in HTML5 and download the game for win on both links. Okay, so here is the highest score right now from Stefan Leimer. I think this is how to pronounce uh, their name. Very well done. So uh, let's not look at this uh, <laughs> number because I'm pretty sure that I will be much lower. So uh, there are a lot of fixes, research having no effect, a bug, WebGL bug, sound level related issue and some changes. Um, yeah, I think, I think uh, it's still well within um, the allowed rules or uh, the allowed modifications that you can make. So let's uh, get us the Windows version then. Um, and try Seeds of Hope. So I really, already from just looking at the screenshots, this looks to be like a big game <laughs> in terms of, of jam games. So let's make some room here and get rid of my sweets. <laughs> Uh, the next version of RNG 2000 will probably also do the tweeting. Uh, it might probably not because I have no idea how to access the Twitter API from a game maker game. So this might be might be something for the future. Okay, so um, extract here. Is this a bomb? No, it's not. Wonderful. So it seems to be like a Unity game. And now I really have to watch closely the analytics now and, and watch my stream if it is uh, able to cope with both streaming and playing this game that will probably launch in full screen 4K. Okay, so uh, this is nice having a sound bar up there. I'm monitoring now. <laughs> yes, I can see my mouse cursor moving there. <laughs> On the in the other tab of Twitch, so I think I'm good. So we got some audio there, and I'm also talking on top of it. Please let me know if the levels are all right for you, if you can hear the game as well as me blathering about it. In the meantime, let's have a look at the credits. So I thought, okay, so those aren't buttons, but we can also see, yeah, there are many, many people involved, uh, considering that this is a jam game. So, like I said, congratulations on managing it. I'm not sure if I can hear the game. Let's try this. I turned up the desktop audio quite a lot. Okay, I updated now, as you've probably noticed, <laughs> um, the stream window. Is it better now? A lot better. This is wonderful. Okay, so um, yeah, let's start Seeds of Hope, The Last Stand. Welcome, click on a room for more info and welcome to your tutorial simulation. To save love you will have to send as many probes as possible from this room before your ship is destroyed. So I'm playing this as you can see in 4K in UHD resolution and I'm not quite sure that this is intentional But uh, it looks good. It looks good. So this is the probe room. Okay, skip. Oh I skipped the entire tutorial. You know what? This was probably very bad. So you know what? Let's try this again <laughs> without skipping the tutorial. I thought if you just hit skip, but apparently it's one time click. Okay, so these two rooms generate the resources you will need. Remember to send some of your crew there. Okay, send as many probes as we can, but also get resources. This room passively clones new crew members for you, but they will wait for your orders before working. This is nice having a clone station. And your rooms are more effective with upgrades uh, with more workers inside. Don't forget to spend your resources. Wow, okay, so already some sounds uh, quite uh, <laughs> quite uh, complex to me. Uh, the wave is coming, prepare the shields and fire up the weapons. Good luck, everyone is counting on you. So there we have weapons, I would assume. Okay, so here we are. How to select my people. So I left click and right click is having them move. Okay. Okay, so crystals, food costs, new crew, crew cost one. Send probes, okay, so let's send one person in there. 
And what is happening now? So this is not good. Uh, go to shields then. Okay, so good. Apparently we're in an asteroid field, but this is okay. So while nothing is happening here, I just have my people come over here. And now let's send a, a probe. Food cost 17, crew cost 1. Okay, there's another wave coming. So everyone to battle stations. And cool, so there... I will just have one uh, crew member there, always in the cloning room, Tell, just to be sure that yeah, there there's always crew coming back to us. Okay, I send another probe then. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing things correctly, but let's try. Crop accelerator, cannon bay, can I upgrade this? Okay, so this costs a lot of food and oh my god, I already think that I'm doing things wrong here. So we got 7 crew, 28 food and crystals. Okay, so you know what? The cannon bay I will up... Yeah, I will, I will increase the cannon bay as soon as I can. 15 crystals, we got way too many crystals. So we need some more food there. Good, so this is updated there, the cannon bay. Is it? Well, is it though? Oh, I need to, yeah, I need to upgrade it to level one first. Okay, so good to know. So, um, just make sure that we are able to defend ourselves. Um, crop accelerator, huh, what should I boost next? So the shield is, are looking pretty okay, I think, relatively. But I think I'm doing things wrong here. Um, in the chats, uh, Frank says, I seem to vaguely remember that Twitch has a tag for LD games. Might be useful to look into that. Yeah, I tried to tag it, but it didn't work. And apparently I also need to pay more attention to the game and not the chat. Okay, as my ship, ship breaks apart, I feel a flicker of hope. Thinking of the few probes I sent, will they be able to expand and grow or will they be quickly found and exterminated by the invasion? Chances are slim, but isn't it what life is about? Last Captain Law. Okay, so two probes and for two minutes. I, I will try this once again, but as you've probably seen, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by this. Okay, so I will skip the tutorial now and... Hmm, I don't really know what to focus on first, so I will just send all my people there to the probes. Okay, I can't send all my people there, just, just one person. But uh, of course we need food first for the first probe, so 10 and we can send a probe. And now everyone, battle stations. And let's make sure that we get some food, that we can increase our shields perhaps. Yeah, in the end, it's it feels a little bit like the original uh, FTL in a sense that pretty much everything is of equal importance. And whatever you do, you're doing completely the wrong thing because you should be focusing on something else. Okay, let's add some more shields per second. Let's try to go the defensive route first. Um, Can't I buy this now? I can't. So, okay, I got two crew members there idling around. This is not good. So, okay, man the blasters. And let's send a, a probe. Maybe, maybe it will be able to save us in the long run. Okay, so no one's there manning the shields. This is not good. This is really not good. So, um, as soon as they are gone, food and crystals. Yeah, this is a constant onslaught is really uh, making things harder. <laughs> okay, a shield booster. Then um, let's try to up the cannon bay first. 
Oh, no one's producing food. This is bad. Why are so many people standing and idling down there? This is not good. This is really not good. I'm, I think I'm doing worse than last time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I send another probe? Yes, I... Let's send another probe so I can say at least that I sent three probes. But I think I won't be able to survive the next... The next wave. No, there are too many and uh, this is... My HP are dropping way too fast. This is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, game over. Again, so... Three probes. Two minutes, uh, I think... <laughs> I think I'll call it a game for now. Uh, this was intense. Um, I really liked the presentation and the overall concept of balancing uh, again your resources uh, and also have to take account for how long crew uh, uh, needs to go from one room to the next. So uh, it would have been nice to have something like the pause function in FTL where you just hit space and then you really can uh, um, lean back and think where things are going to bite you in the ass um, but yeah as you've seen I was uh, entirely overwhelmed with what is important and I had to figure things out as I was going along because like I said it felt like everything was of equal importance and whatever I made it was a uh, decision that I made it was just wrong so for me it would have been nicer if the game would uh, give me a little bit more of a grace period uh, in the beginning where I'm able to send a couple of probes first and then the first enemies come and then the game introduces yeah you might want to add a little bit of your resources or collect them uh, and then invest them in shield upgrades or maybe just blaster upgrades something like this that it's it's ramping up much more slowly than right now because this feels like a strategy game that's turned into an arcade experience where one quarter only gets me two to maximum three or four minutes of gameplay but overall man this is really a big uh, relatively complex game and the art is very very nice like I said it looks much much more beautiful than FTL and also with the music it works it works uh, nicely one thing that I realized was that the uh, sound effects were a little bit toned down but this is not too bad because I, I prefer it like this especially when the music is nice that I have the music a little bit louder than the sound effects but uh, yeah overall uh, two thumbs up thank you so much for submitting this is like I said it's just for me it's a bit overwhelming because everything is happening at the same time but I might give this another try then and go for the high score. <laughs> um, did I say unicorn? No, I didn't, but I need a sip of water now. So, um, now I need to clear here my overlay. This is something that I overlooked. Let me just open up there. Um, Um, notepad plus plus and now it should clear or should have cleared so um, then I can try and play a game from one of my patrons so what did we just play we played seeds of hope there we go just to make sure that I do all the necessary steps there so I'm just also indicating here with a yes that I played this before that when I'm creating the new CSV file when we're playing the next random game that it won't be included there as well so we get a game from Frank Gewertz again apologies for mispronouncing your name for the past years and I won't stop now I won't stop now so what's it with Frank's game row to sheet Oh, damn it, really, the, the weather and <laughs> is messing up my nose tip. So, um, the game is called The Diamond Flowered Orchid by Frank Hewertz. 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 And yes, it updated, wonderful. So it wasn't his first Ludum Dara, as I really know. <laughs> and is Frank here? Yes, he is present, so I don't need to... Um, send out uh, the notification into the Twitterverse, just post the link. And about the game, it's a bit, it's on the LD page, but it might be important. Sound may be a bit loud. Thank you so much for the warning. 
Everyone else, please let me know in the stream. I will turn down here the desktop audio just in case, just in case already. And anything you want to tell me, thanks for the inspiration. Oh, you're very welcome. I don't know how I inspired you, but I will take it and say again, thank you so much for being a patron and submitting your game to me. So what's the diamond flowered orchid? Diamond flowered orchid, okay, this makes sense. About. The diamond flowered orchid is a text adventure written in Inform 7, as it always is uh, with Frank's games. It's playable on the web. This time I added sound effects, so you're going all in with multimedia. What will come next? 3D graphics or even a safe system? I think you already have a safe system. There are no graphics in this game, so I opted out of that category. Warning, especially if you're using headphones, lower your volume before you start playing. Again, thank you so much. This is the first time I did sound effects and I definitely made them way too loud. Uh, <laughs> this is always something. I recently played um, the the first original Kojima game that was Snatcher and at one uh, point uh, you hear a faint beeping and in-game your companion tells you to turn up the volume on your TV so that you can hear it better and uh, the next sound uh, after two minutes or so you hear is of course a big explosion because the beeping was part of a timer and the, your main character says yeah this was loud my ears are ringing and your companion tells this is because you kept the volume turned up so Kojima was already messing with you uh, like 30 years almost ago. What am I saying? Almost. The game was from 88, so I think it was around more than 30 years ago. So let's have a look at the diamond flowered orchid. So this might be a bit too small for you to read along. I think this is better. Maybe make the text uh, flow like this so this is a bit easier to read then I'm just eyeing on with with one eye what's going on in OBS so I think this is big enough for everyone to read along I will just um, close this window here that it's yeah I think this looks nice this job as a rare plant collector pays well but it has its risks uh, I clicked already something, okay. You expected that finding an ultra-rare diamond-flowered orchid was going to be difficult, but you found one almost immediately. Hey, already won the game! What you did not expect was that the trip home would be problematic. You have an ultra-modern computer-controlled helicopter, after all, with a fancy user interface and everything. But that user interface turns out to be terrible. I think this is... <laughs> one uh, uh, snide comment at uh, graphics games but uh, I always prefer having uh, legible text over horribly convoluted graphics or user interfaces. It clearly said you had enough fuel to get home but you ran out anyway. The crash landing went well until the rotor hit a tree and broke. The helicopter landed on its side and will probably never fly again. You managed to contact rescue services on the radio. They said they, uh, they, said they will be here in two days. After that, the radio broke. This means you have to survive for two days. Your water tank didn't survive the landing and the water is gone. Oh dear, okay, sounds like uh, already a survival experience we're having there. The diamond flowered orchid is intact, thank god. But it also needs water every day. Oh no, and you need it to survive, so... Hmm. But it's a diamond flowered orchid. But on the other hand, we want to stay alive. Its value will offset the lost helicopter. The orchid was going to make you rich, but now you need it not to go bankrupt. But now you need it to not go bankrupt. So I thought I now need it to survive, but yeah, it's... I mean, the helicopter was expensive, so yeah, it, it makes sense. <laughs> if you're new at this sort of game, remember to look at or examine short X various objects in the game for more information. The Diamond Flowered Orchid, interactive fiction by Frank Kiewertz, apparently... It's another Inform 7 game, as the tagline here implies. Crashed helicopter. So, this is the game. You are inside the helicopter. The controls are entirely broken and unusable. The helicopter lies on its side, so the seats are unusable. Still, it's a safe place to rest in the jungle where nasty things can't get at you. If you want to explore the jungle to find water, you can go outside. You can see a diamond flowered orchid there. 
So let's examine the orchid then. If I think this must be better there for you to read along, otherwise you always have to uh, look at the bottom of the video and maybe there's a playback bar some, somewhere in there. Okay, um, you very rare and valuable diamond flowered orchid miraculously survived the crash and even ended up standing in the right way up. Hey, are we good or aren't are we good? USB device not recognized. Yeah, doesn't doesn't like my phone. I think it's my phone. <laughs> um, where were we? Um, you will need to water the plant every day if you want it to survive. The diamond flowered orchid looks like it could use some water already. Your arm hurts. Maybe you should look at it. So let's examine the arm then. You have a wound on your arm that you need to clean and bandage. Clean wound. You're not carrying any water. Okay, so I need to clean the wound with water so we can't just, just pick at it and pick out the germs. Um, yeah, let's go outside and... Oh, I heard a sound effect. So we're in the jungle, jungle clearing. You're in a reasonably large clearing in the jungle. Your helicopter is the most noticeable thing in it. The distant sound of a river. Ooh, a river comes from the northwest. From here you can go northwest to a rocky path, go west to a stony path, go east to a vine-lined path, or go inside to go back to your helicopter. You see a lizard here. A lizard runs northwest. It seems friendly. It looks like a Henry to you. <laughs> so let's follow Henry. Um, I mean, uh, it went. Henry went into the direction of water all along so northwest the rocks on the rocky path are blocking your way your arm still hurts maybe you should look at it you feel something on your legs okay examine legs uh, you feel something on your legs uh, there are leeches on your legs okay so um pluck leeches it's not over yeah probably not um, take leeches ah that feels better yeah <laughs> Oh, okay, so um, broken helicopter is very dented. It is lying on its side and rotor is broken. You're pretty sure it will never fly. Still, it's a shelter. Okay, so north. Let's have a look around. Northwest, a rocky path. Let's take the stony path then. I can hear myself walking. This is nice with the sound effects. This is really nice. Uh, Frank says in the chat, maybe the sound needs to be louder for the stream. It was very faint here. Yeah, I turned down the audio quite substantially. Let me just um, switch over to the very, to transition over to this very scene. Only with the game audio being a bit louder, I would hope so. So uh, yeah, let me know if it's a, a bit louder the next time. So the ground here is covered in stones. From here you can go south to some coconut trees or go east to the jungle clearing. You know what, let's go. You can see a stone here. Yeah, maybe, maybe pick up stone. Just after you pick up the stone, you can hear the sound of falling rocks coming from the north. Uh, did I break something now? Or maybe the clearing to the north is uh, open. So let's um, go east sound is fine now wonderful and let's go uh, northwest the rocky path is very rocky the rocks seem to move a bit but they are holding so far you get the impression that these rocks moved a lot recently from here you can go westwards the sounds of water flowing or go southeast to the jungle clearing you can see henry here your arm still hurts um, let's try talk to henry it's not a verb, or okay, yeah. Get Henry. You can't see such a thing. Henry, maybe maybe examine Henry. You can't see, uh, maybe Henry is gone? Let's have a look around then. Apparently Henry is gone. I was too slow. <laughs> um, you can go westwards, yeah. I could go to the water flowing, but then there is probably no way to bring the water back to the plant. But I could maybe clean my wound, I think. Yeah, let's go west. Waterfall. The sounds of a waterfall dominate this place. There is no way you can cross the river from here. You can go east back to Rocky Pass. You can see Henry here. You feel something on your legs. Henry runs east. Okay, uh, there is something on my legs. Examine legs. Leeches. Um, pick up or take leeches. Your arm still hurts. Yeah, look arm. 
clean yeah we need to clean and banish it so okay this makes sense let's go east again and there's henry again henry runs southeast let's follow henry and let's go let's take the stony path again and south to the coconut trees you are in a nice looking coconut grove there are several coconut trees from here you can go north or go back to the to go back to the stony path you can see a fresh coconut here of course we want the coconut don't we pick up coconut taken um examine coconut the coconut looks wonderful and full of water. That should keep you uh, sated for a day. Um, yeah, but can we can we open it? Open coconut. It isn't something you can open. What's in my inventory? You, maybe the stone. Use stone on coconut. That's not a verb. A smash coconut with stone. Yes success you hit the coconut with a stone the coconut cracks and ends with a big hole it's full of fresh liquid so um, you know what let's first take care of our assets I feel something on my legs yeah yeah um, pick up leeches uh, I know what's on my legs so let's go north then and stones from here south to, or east to the chunk clearing and inside and water plant the diamond flowered orchid looks better already your arm still hurts so um use coconut on arm or clean wound you're not carrying okay so huh maybe make the window a bit bigger sometimes it's just too small okay so maybe like like this is this better so I didn't clean my wound, this is bad, but at least our valuable assets survived for the day. So yeah, let's go outside again and see what we can do here. Yeah, let's let's go east then. You're on path delineated, delineated by wines. From here you can go north towards some banana plants or go east to a small clearing or go west. Uh, of course I want a banana. You feel something on your legs. Yeah, yeah, pick leeches. Um, pick up leeches. Yes, <laughs> I already know what's on my legs. Maybe maybe one time you're just pulling my leg <laughs> and it's a snake. And when I say pick up leeches, oh no, it's a snake. It bit you, you're dead. Start over. Maybe you should save. Enter file name one. I just <laughs> recall that maybe we should save. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, where were the banana plants? North. Banana grove. You're in a banana grove. There are several banana plants here. From here you can go south. Um, examine. Also, um, yeah, examine banana plants. The banana plants do not have ripe bananas on them, unfortunately. But one of the plants, on one of the plants, a leaf was recently half cut off. Maybe by some debris from the helicopter, you could probably easily pull it off. Well, of, of course, then we want it. Take leaf. The banana leaf is still attached. You have to pull. Pull leaf. It ripped. You pull at the banana leaf, the stem breaks off at the cut and now you have a nice fresh banana leaf you can bandage your arm with. Something was hidden behind the banana leaf. It's a small unicorn! Cheers. It darts away into the undergrowth. You're not even sure where. Your arm still hurts. Maybe you should look at it. Yeah, I could bandage my arm, but you know what? Let's examine unicorn. You can't see such thing. Oh, what a pity. Okay, I could um, bandage my arm, but it's no good if, if my wound underneath is, is still uh, not clean. So hmm, I was thinking that maybe with a big banana plant leaf, I could use it to carry water from the river, but hmm, maybe not. Um, let's go south then. And go east to the small clearing. You're in a small clearing. Go west to the wine path. You see a bottle here. Well, then examine the bottle. Your trusty bottle. It must have been thrown out of the helicopter when it crashed. The bottle is filled with water. Your arm still hurts. Uh, take bottle. Taken. And a clean wound. 
you clean the wound on your arm. It looks much better now. You still want to bandage it though. Use leaf feel what leaf <laughs> uh, with arm. Um, bandage wound. You carefully, carefully wrap the banana leaf around the wound. This should hold until you get home. Wonderful. So I think we survived it. Um, let's go west then. The banana plants. We've visited the banana plants. The small clearing. Hmm. Let's go west to the jungle clearing then. Hmm. Let's try northwest rocky path again. And there's Henry again. Henry runs southeast. I'm not quite sure what's going on with Henry. Should I catch Henry? Huh. Anyway, pick up leeches. <laughs> you get the impression that these rocks moved a lot recently. Um, push rocks, maybe? You can't see such a thing. Um, rocks? That's not a burp. Yeah, this this rocks. <laughs> okay, um, you can go west. Let's go west, young man. There's no way you can cross the river. Okay, so... Um, take water? Can I take the water? That's hardly portable. Um, what do I have in my inventory? A bottle. Use bottle with water. That's not... Oh, of course, use, yeah. Um, Take water with bottle as far as you want to take the river. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, fill water in bottle. You want to fill the river. Fill bottle with water. The bottle is full now. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, the rocks are meaningless after you clear the path. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, and uh, he also told in the uh, chat that of course we can't use uh, use because this is a, yeah quite an all-encompassing world. Cool, we got water, we got our wound clean. So I think we're all safe now, aren't we? So um, waterfall, let's go back east and southeast. You feel something on your legs, and there's a Henry again. What's what's it with Henry? Pick up leeches, and let's just follow Henry for for a bit. Hmm. North. Hmm. South. <laughs> okay, so Henry is just just uh, running about the place. Then you know what? Let's try to go. West back to the clearing, go inside and hmm, can see a diamond flower orchid. Let's examine the orchid again. Your very rare and valuable diamond flowered orchid miraculously survived the crash and even and you need to water the plant every day. Yes, 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 the diamond flowered orchid looks like it already got fresh water today. This is good. So um, we treated our wound. Um, the plant has water, has been watered. So let's try to sleep then. Are you sure you haven't had anything to drink today? And in this jungle, not oh, of course, yeah, I need to drink a drink bottle. <laughs> You drink the entire bottle, this will be enough for an entire day. So, you feel rested and com comforted by the thought that you only have to wait one more day. Ah, oh, this is good. Again, sorry, my nose is, is horribly itchy. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Okay, so let's save this um, as two. <laughs> that we can restore it in case I should be doing something stupid. Okay, so let's examine the orchid again. It looks as like it could use some water. So let's go outside then and see what's going on there. The distant sound of a river, northwest, stony path. So everything is looking as the day before. So let's try northwest again. Path is very rocky. And I get the impression that the rocks moved. And yeah, let's try west again. Can uh, I fill the bottle again? Yeah, fill bottle with water. Drink bottle. Fill bottle with water. The body. Fill the body 
with water. Cool, so let's um, head back and give the water to our plant. Um, where did I come? East, it was east and you can go west, rocky path, southeast and go inside and there water plant. Wonderful, so did we survive now? Can I sleep again? I can hear a helicopter. I, I, oh, of course, yeah, you can hear a helicopter approaching. Rescue is here. You board the rescue helicopter with your precious diamond flowered orchid. While of course not crashing would have been a lot better, you feel that this expedition at least didn't end in absolute disaster. Isn't this a wonderful note to end a Ludum Dare game jam on? <laughs> it didn't go as planned. But at least it wasn't an absolute disaster. Would you like to restart, restore a saved game, quit or undo the last command? I think I've seen it all. Frank, please let me know. Did I miss something on day two? Probably where I could barter with Henry and then craft something that automatically waters my plant. And then we got a whole Factorio slash Minecraft slash Rimworld situation in text form going on. And I just completely missed this. Or... I don't think you missed anything. Okay, I didn't, apparently I didn't miss anything. Still, I'm curious about what's up with Henry and where the little unicorn went. Man, this was nice, this was nice. The sound effects, uh, really, uh, I, I don't know how you made them, but uh, I have, uh, with some, I have an idea. <laughs> but uh, man, they, they really worked well. It, it, felt, it really felt like I was going through through the leaves and, and the, the, the jungle and so on. Uh, yeah, it, strangely, having text and some very accentuated, accentuated, what's the word, where you put accents on something with sound effects. This is what I want to say. And I will take down now my headphones because uh, it's, it's getting hot in here. Henry just runs around randomly. Oh, so I... Okay, so I was chasing the poor lizard around <laughs> for no reason. So this was nice. Thank you so much. Two thumbs up. As always, it's been a pleasure playing a text adventure from you. Like I said, maybe next time even have graphics. Probably not, but uh, who knows? Maybe in... I give you 10 to 15 years to make another monkey island. Looking forward to that. Okay, so um, let's see if anyone else submitted their game in the meantime apparently not but frank's game let's make this green and put a yes here on whether i have played it cool so let's create the new csv file then with all the games currently in the run oh. Uh, while we're waiting, how has your week been in Austria here? Um, the lockdowns being uh, lifted, but uh, yeah, it couldn't have come soon enough. I mean, uh, this kind of quarantine, it brings out the worst in each of us. And for me, this is hair. There's hair inside of me and it's coming out through my face and I don't know what is happening. Does anyone else have this? It's weird. Okay, so... Um, it's a lot of games, actually. Um, thank you so much for submitting all of your games. This is really great. So it's 75 are still in the mix there. So let's download it as CSV. Always save it as a text file that I can easily open it with a C++ Notepad++, of course. Just make sure if everything is still on there. Yes, it is. Wonderful. So let's take out, um, or we don't have to take out the game um, from from the overlay there on the stream. And let's let's have the RNG two thousand take over from here. But this runs on the most powerful graphics system in the world. Your imagination, says Frank. And we're playing Lamp Chases by Team. Liaverse, Liaverse, um, posting the link here now only on Twitch and it should be relayed to YouTube, I hope. There we go. And line 23 in the CSV file. Lamp chasers, there we go. Take it out, save it and head over 
to uh, the spreadsheet. This is <laughs> a very hands-on with the whole spreadsheet and scripts and uh, uh, RNG 2000. I'm really sorry for the, the back and forth, but yeah, at least this uh, it, it works. I'm not quite happy with how uh, it works, but yeah, maybe sometime in the future I will have it where I just download here uh, the CSV file and then have everything be created inside of Game Maker or Unity and not just having to default to <laughs> your run-of-the-mill uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, spreadsheet software. Lamp chases by Team Leavers. Uh, Team Leavers, thank you so much for um, the hints on how to pronounce your game. About the game, we forgot to um, uh, to make much mention about the enemies and how to defeat them. Okay, this might be interesting to know how to defeat animals. Animals? The enemies. There are shadow monsters which are attracted to your lamps and attempt to break them. Okay, this sounds disconcerting. They don't attack or care about the player, but rather the player's garden. They can be defeated by placing traps which when walked over launch the shadow monsters away and despawn them shortly after. Let's keep this in mind. I have no idea what the game is about. Um, are there any social media links? No, so uh, I don't have to um, notify them on Twitter because I can't notify them on Twitter. Lamp Chasers. Wow, another big game here of many people. And I like this, I very much like this uh, 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 title screen here. I mean, this looks like a person, but also like a moth. Man, it, it makes sense, of course. What are moths? Lamp Chasers. Oh, this looks oh, this looks very nice. This looks very nice. Played on itch. Listen to the listen. Listen to the OST. So wow, you even got a soundtrack there. I mean, I would imagine because you have so many people involved there. This is great. On July 24th, 20XX, a young moth named Motti submits an application to work at Lucas Underground Farms and gets accepted as an employee. Weeks later, taking place three days after your birthday, play as the teen moth Mott Halo as you begin your journey solo as an underground farmer in Houston, Arizona. Uh, I'm already a, a bit confused, but I think I think we should be fine. Uh, um, made binary says, uh, sorry, I joined late. Did you take part in Ludum Dara and are we expecting a post mortem? Yes, and yes. Lamp Chases is a survival management game. Oh dear, we've seen just before how bad I go. <laughs> I am with those games. Uh, made by an experimental Ludum Dara mega team named Team Leavers. The team consists of 10 developers and was formed by Studio Novega in the time span of five days. Again, congratulations for pulling off this amount of developers working together on one project and not everyone's going in their different directions. As an additional challenge, composers were limited to a predetermined sample pack containing drums, basic sound waves and three Super Nintendo sound fonts. So you actually uh, went all the way in to make things even harder for yourself despite having to coordinate 10 people. Congratulations. Credits. Martin Ward, project director, programming, game design, writing and dialogue, character design, environmental art, music composition, sound effects, testing, ESP, uh, 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 Spanish, French and Japanese translation. Holy crap! This is a lot. This is a lot of hats you you uh, <laughs> you wear uh, for for this project. So hats off to you, Martin. Raul W B, project director, programming, game design, technical art, music composition, testing, French translation. Translation. I sound like uh, what's his name, Sean Connery. Uh, Connor McCartney programming, environmental design, flaming sparrow programming, testing, Flo Flomino character design, character animation, character art, Newpun, Newpun character design, character art, and German translation, Wish Dream, the environmental art, um, CYMJ, Lucius music composition and sound effects, Dazils, uh, the Dutch translation, and Flor Geneva, the Russian translation. Wow! So you have a lot of translations out there for, for a game. This is amazing. So um, let's find uh, then uh, the Windows version if I can. Where can I? Is it really just, just uh, playing there in the browser? 
just click on more information. Um, apparently platforms HTML5. Usually I download the Windows version if I can because with yeah, games running in browsers you're never quite sure if they work as intended or if there are any unwanted glitches. So I hope we're, we're, doing, we're doing fine this time. Okay. Let's make this full screen then. And it's a Unity game and again let's hope that uh, yeah, HTML5 doesn't break it. Man, so many logos, so many logos on a gem game. I hear some, I, I just heard a little music jingle. Is this already full screen? Sorry, I can't make it bigger. I can make it small. Oh, there, it worked, but now I, <laughs> I can't scale it down, sorry. <laughs> so let's try it 400%. And full screen, let's try it like this. Um, 400%, okay, I think this should be fine. <laughs> uh, if not, please let, let me know if you're not hearing or seeing anything. So new game options, quit. So we navigate and with Z is select, which is uh, very unfriendly to German keyboard layouts. But I've anticipated something like this and let me just switch over to BAM. Now I'm running the American keyboard layout and things are good again. Frank says, uh, if there's music now, it's not coming through properly. No, there was just one musical sting before, but let's, yeah, let's see what the options say. Music, 10, sound effects, and full screen off. Yeah, graphics high. Now, now it's running in full screen anyway, because I scaled up the window by 400%. But it's looking good, it's looking good. So, new game then. Now there's music. We're here. Please let me know if you can hear the music. I make it a bit louder now. Should be louder. Oh, I like the chord progression already. Make it louder, please. How's that now? Can you hear it now? So I get already available power and juice up 14 says I can hear this is great. So a Z to place and pick up X to cancel Q for inventory and T to toggle help. So um, this is nice. We already can see there's a lot of character animation going on there. This is very cool. So available power. So let's let's pick it up then. Whatever this is, can we pick up anything here? No. T. Oh yeah, this is. So Q is the inventory. Lamp two. Arc plant four. Circ plant four. I've no idea what this is. So I'm circ plant. So this must be a circular plant then. So let's uh, plant it. 16, 15, 12, 40. Again, I have no idea what the hell is going on here, to be frank. But I placed some some things here. What's it with you then? Hello friend, I can teach you how to grow plants in the underworld. Okay, good. <laughs> you can't have a garden without light, so set up some lamps. The lamps will not turn on unless they are near the generator. So I com did com things completely the wrong there in the beginning. Just. Yeah, I should have placed the lamps first. So, but let's keep playing, then uh, lose, and then start over properly again. Ah, oh, this is nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, the lamp. I have a lamp. This is good, so I place it near the generator. There, uh, there seems to be some issue there with the UVs. Oh, look! There's a shop. Didn't see the shop before. This is very nice. Also, uh, by the way, I have to say I really adore the graphics. They're very beautiful. So let's place a lamp here. Was this not close enough to the generator? I'm not quite sure. Uh, 
So those were my lamps. Okay, cool. So now what's up little slinky? Hello friend, I can teach you how to grow plants. You can have a garden without light. So yeah, it's the same thing there. Okay, so we got the generator there. And what's up with you little furry person? So the power there on my generator is running low already. So let's try the arc plant then. Am I still there in the radius of the light? I really like how this is visualized with the light radius. Hmm, there seems to be some kind of glitching going on with my little moth character. But okay, so those are the shadow things. And I have entirely forgotten how to get rid of them. The only thing that I can do now is just get in their way and block them from coming near. But I'm not quite sure if this is the way to do. So, um, yeah, can, how can I defend? I really can't. So, um, you know what, I just take my light source there <laughs> and move it away. <laughs> Does this work? So I got, I, at least I got some money. So let's go to the shop then and see what I can get from there. Few plants for sale, okay. Halia, <sighs> sorry, what? Happy birthday, friend. Oh, it's Kazoos. I don't know what I just bought. Exit, arc plant, third plant, tri plant. I can't afford a tri plant yet, but in a couple of seconds I will be able to afford a tri plant. Arc, circ, sil plant. Come on, I want a tri plant because it looks like a triforce. Oh man, those shadow monsters are probably just pummeling my my plants in the garden. Yeah, let's let's take a side plant. I appreciate you, Fred. Thank you. Okay, cool. So then exit. Adios, flamingo. <laughs> this is cute. Okay, so um, yeah, this isn't this isn't good. So let's. I should have bought. Uh, yes, thank you. I should have bought some lights, right? So. Yes, this was bad. This was bad. Uh, I don't know how to defend actually against those against those monsters. You know what? Let's let's try this again, and this time <laughs> I will not uh, place my other plants. Probably those were some kind of turrets, I would assume. But I, but you can hear the music because it is very beautiful. The game is different from most of the games in that it was made by a large team of 10 people. We haven't seen this one. We were fortunate enough to have a team large enough to be able to create a larger game. However, in order to show respect to the other developers, we ask that you please judge our game accordingly. And so we shall. So let's try again a new game then. And we're here. Motti, welcome to your gardening space. You'll be spending the next chapter of your life here, so we encourage you to make your own. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much, miss. Oh my god, I'm sorry, uh, but I've already forgotten your name. Yeah, I've been there as well. No worries, partner. The name's Angela Luca, proud owner of Lucas Underground Farms in Houston, Arizona. And don't you forget it. Don't worry, miss, I won't. This is very cute. A second time. I want a second time. Thank you for allowing me a spot in your cave system, Miss Luca. No need for that, friend. Less talking, more planting. And please, feel free to call me Angie. You can call me Mott. Sure thing, Mott. Let me teach you the basics. Uh, apparently, I completely skipped the cutscene. Every new Luca employee starts with three basic items. A generator, two lights and basic plants. Plants need light and light needs generators. PLG. To place your light down, press C on your keyboard to open your inventory. Oh, it was Q, I think, but okay. What the, what keyboard? Don't worry about it. When you've opened your inventory, you'll see your plant and your light. Press Z on the keyboard to select one and press Z outside the inventory to place it. Yes, at least I got this, uh, that right. 
be sure to place your light before you place any plants however because the plants will die out without a light when your plant is being lit you get paid and when you get paid you can visit kazoos north of here behind yeah and better plants the more expensive the plant the more money you'll make from it they also sell traps to tend to the shadow monsters now i get it the traps this makes sense okay shadow monsters You'll find out in a bit. Yeah, I can already see a shadow monster there in the background. <laughs> Noted. Thank you so much, Angie. I won't let you down. You sure say thank you a lot, friend. I like it. <laughs> and anytime, partner. Feel free to come back to talk to me if you want to learn some more about the cave systems. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I mean... Yes, man. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hey, Amot, what can I do for ya? What can I do for ya? I wanted to ask about the business, actually. Oh, did I? How long have you all have you all been in business? Well, it's a long story. You sure want to hear about it? Well, actually, I would like to play the game. But, well, if you didn't want to, I can always hold any key on the keyboard halfway through the dialogue. What the hell am I talking about? Then let me tell you about it. So, we get a lot of backstory here for the characters. Oh god, no! It started out all the way back with my great 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 grandparents Lincoln and the other didn't catch during the agricultural revolution. Boy, were those two a stylish couple. They started their farming business in 1905 when uh, it was too fast. Kazoos came along in 1953, that one weird how they and it was too fast. And Slinky the Ferret, well, just like Dove came along. Nobody knows when. Over time, this business has gone through 11 owners, with me being the most recent. I survived World War to the Great Depression and still going strong during World War III. <laughs> A social commentary. World War III? Oh, come on, Mott. You know it's gonna happen soon. What I really would have liked uh, would be some kind of uh, button to advance um, the dialogue, because sometimes it lingers a little bit too long if it's just a word or two words and then if it's three lines it goes away too fast okay so um yeah let's um let's place and pick up so if i hit c on my keyboard ah now this looks like this and if i hit q i think last time the background didn't didn't go through then um okay so let's pick the lamp and place it here this was the wrong button and place an other one here then and place some circular plants or circ plants whatever those are and arc plants oh, the music is very chill and mellow Okay, so let's uh, waste not any time like last time and get some traps then few items for sale those must be the traps then lamp trap there we go wow that's noise item enjoy <laughs> i really like this okay so happy birthday for friend let's you know what let's get another lamp and exit okay cool so where are the monsters oh they're still already there okay so the light is out um inventory trap there we go uh this is not good okay so let's um we need another lamp here and another trap pronto okay trap 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 exit Okay, a C uh, and trap and Z. Where are the next shadows coming from? From there. So let's place the trap here. And there's one. Okay, cool. So got some money left. Let's buy some more lights then. Okay, I think now. Friend. Insert text here. <laughs> oh, this is funny. 
Okay, did I buy? I didn't buy anything because what's throwing me off a little bit is that I can't see how much money I have when I'm here having the menu open. So now I can afford another lamp. This is good. So the generator there is already kind of maxing out. Okay, and now I need to get another trap or two probably. One trap, two traps, and then uh, let's uh, get some more plants then. Where are the shadows? Okay. This one is... Oh, look at this. this. There's a moth. There's another moth. But let's let's drop a, a trap there. Good. And now let's get some plants. What's lacking a little bit is sound effects. Did I... Probably it's just glitchy on my part, I, th I would think. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if I bought now one or I didn't. But yeah, let's try and plant some plants there. There we go. Okay, so I need probably sooner than later another generator because I can't afford any more uh, lamps with that one. I'm really not sure when those uh, shadows are coming or how long they are just hanging back. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's buy something something expensive. Maybe this Zerg plant here. Huh. Oh, this is bad. Uh, how? Where did you come from? Uh, this is really not good. Okay, so I don't have any traps now. Um, let's place you here. And I just held down shift because I wanted to sprint. Okay, a trap. Thank you. Trap. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if this is working or not, if I need to place the traps directly on them or just uh, in wherever they are going for. But this one seems to be stuck in a sense, right? So, yeah. Hmm. Let's get another plant then. How much do I have? Let's save up 100. Let's get this Zerg plant here and then run back. It's a little bit uh, hard or annoying actually to be running back and forth all the time because you can't uh, see what's going on in your garden. Oh, look at this, there's another one. Because you can't see what's going on your, in your garden when you're running to the shop and back. Yeah, this is not good. What's up with Slinky? Yeah, I should have invested sooner in a trap. Trap exit. No, exit. Okay, this is bad. Trap. Okay, this worked. So I had to... This one here is stuck, which is good. But uh, yeah, while I was complaining uh, with the first game, um, the seeds of hope that we played, that I felt completely overwhelmed all the time. Here it's a little bit uh, the difference because I'm not quite sure if I'm making headway or not. So this one here is still busy, but there's one coming up. Okay, good. So I try just to block you and lay down a trap. Oh, I can move those again. Okay, this is helpful. I didn't know that. Can't I pick up the trap again? Okay, so apparently I can't pick up the trap again, but I can just <laughs> take my light sources and Put them to safety <laughs> and I think I'm not quite sure if those uh, shadow monsters are supposed to be stuck like that 
but yeah. Right now, like I said, I'm not quite sure if I'm making headway on this game or not, or what's the goal actually. So, you know what, I will save up for 200 then, just make sure that... How did you get through here? Okay, so I can't pick up the trap again. Okay, so this one apparently... Okay, so there's a different one then. Yeah, this is not good, this is not good. Ah oh man, why can't I pick up the traps again when I need them? This is, yeah, this is bad. Hmm. Like I said, I adore the presentation, but it's probably that it's HTML5 here in this version that it's, it's kind of glitchy. <laughs> Um, yeah, this, I think, this is it <laughs> for this playthrough. It would have been nicer if I had any other kind of getting rid of the monsters. I mean, right now we're at zero here. So I'm not quite sure if I right now failed the game or not. Because it actually seems like, like that. But I still got some money so I could buy a lamp and then see see the same thing essentially so <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna call it uh, for now but this was a wonderful little gardening game which uh, interestingly I've seen quite a lot in recent Ludum Daras and this is very nice because most of, of the times you have shooty games where you just try to kill things and here it's try to not to kill things but to just make it look nice and have something grow and also the music I mean they have, I think, was it here that there is a link to the soundtrack somewhere? Because it's nice. Ah, yeah, this was this was a very, very uh, a wonderful game in terms of presentation and music and the very chill factor. Like I said, I was missing a little bit sound effects, but again, this could probably be down to uh, the jam version. And I mean, look, look, look at this here. I don't know how they managed to have this kind of garden growing here. What I would have liked is some kind of way to have the plants defend themselves, maybe, but then it would be like plants versus zombies, right? So, <laughs> yeah, just just my thoughts, but again, uh, 10 people, very nice presentation, cool soundtrack, and uh, as for the gameplay, like I said, it's not my kind of game, I think, because I didn't feel that I was going somewhere with it, apart from in the wrong direction, because I never would have gone into into uh, this kind of a big garden here, but uh, I mean, look at this, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for submitting your game. This was Lamp Chasers. And let's tick it off the list. And give my ears some more breathing room. Is anyone still there watching, by the way? Because I felt like uh, I got 20 people watching right now. This is amazing. Thank you so much for dropping by. Oh, this was apparently... I still need to switch back my keyboard to German. Cool, so next up we have a patron's game. And let me just clear this one. And the game is called... Let me ready my water already. The game is called... The Unicorn, Cheers and the Need for Coffee. By my patron Ink D, or Inked, because I'm sure he has a lot of tattoos. And it should have updated, wonderful. So, um, about the game, I'm not quite sure if you can see this. Let's zoom it up here a little bit. Can't I zoom it up? This being Google Docs here. So apparently it's corn or wheat equals the magical creature equals coffee or not equals, transforms to or references uh, coffee. Okay, so um, this makes sense in my world at least. Anything else you want to tell me? Been told audio is loud, so start with the audio low. So I will turn down the desktop audio again by 12 decibels and transition over to this very scene. Hi again. And let's have a closer look then at 
the unicorn cheers and the need for coffee so phil <laughs> man what a weird coincidence so phil is stranded on a floating island without coffee oh the horror <laughs> Whenever I, I think I, I will make a, a nice or funny remark, uh, then literally always the next sentence or the next word is exactly what I was about to say. So apparently I'm, I'm very easy to anticipate what, what my reaction would be. A black screen. This is bad. What happened? What the hell happened right now? There we go. I think... Oh, it makes sense. I switched over to uh, the input of the switch, which was, of course, turned off. Thank you so much for <laughs> pointing it out to me. So this is the unicorn and the need for coffee. So Phil is stranded on a floating island without coffee. The horror! By pure accident, Phil noticed the smell of coffee from a unicorn nearby and desperate to get coffee. He caught it and tried to figure out where the smell came from and how to turn whatever it was into a nice cup of liquid caffeine. So most important is to keep the unicorn alive. I won't be drinking water each time at the unicorn now, at least not for this game, because I would be running out of water first and then would be running to the toilet second. Um, to keep the flow of coffee coming. And what could be simpler than feeding it exactly what it needs? Nothing, just keep going. Extra challenge, find all three ways of dying. <laughs> Fill coffee in coffee content. <laughs> you know what, I need something like, like this myself. And look at this, it's a unicorn and it shed a huge pile of coffee. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I've seen this sprite of me, apparently, and uh, it's You've nailed it. Congratulations. Controls. Move, vast or arrow keys, pick up stuff, space, hold, do an action, E, open, close, gate, toggle switch, draw water from well. So that's it. Just try to figure it out. No tutorial here. Only learning by doing. Note, I've been told the audio is a bit loud, so please turn down the volume. We'll fix when allowed. Known bugs. Standing on a coffee bean. Also, okay, so this is not a huge pile of crap. <laughs> it's a coffee bean. Standing on a coffee bean while feeding the unicorn will prevent you from picking it up. Work around, just walk away from the bean and back on it. That's bizarre. You can get stuck on the collider for the pen gate when inside the pen. Work around, move up, left and down. That is go around it. Okay, so um, let's get uh, the Windows version then of the need for coffee and see <laughs> how this is going so everything downloaded yes wonderful there's a lot on my desktop right now but never mind the unicorn needs water the unicorn needs water. Okay, so my caffeine content is ticking down at a very fast pace and I hope you could hear uh, the voice bit. <laughs> Man, this is really nice. I've Actually, I, I don't think I've played myself as myself in video games before this this jam here. First tank midfield and now this. So unicorn needs water. So um, E, interact. <laughs> Okay, so um, open the pen. The unicorn needs a flower. Unicorn needs a flower. Are those flowers? <laughs> the unicorn needs a flower. Okay, so a uh, unicorn tells me what it wants while my caffeine content is trickling down. But. The unicorn needs water. I was right, the unicorn was just pooping out coffee. <laughs> this was German. Uh, you didn't close the gate. Now the unicorn is gone. Oh no, so, oh damn it. I didn't know that I needed to close the gate the also. Needs a flower. Okay, so 
So let's make sure that um, I also close the gate each time. Um, yeah, interact, open. The unicorn needs water. Water, okay, good, good water. <laughs> I like how frantic this already seems to become. The unicorn needs a flower. Flower, okay. Coffee, come on. Where's my coffee? I need my, apparently this was already some, already uh, contributed to my coffee content. This is good. The unicorn needs hay. Unicorn needs hay, okay. Uh, wrong side of the pen. There we go. The unicorn needs a flower. Unicorn needs flower. Okay. I still, I think I'm still doing good with my c caffeine unicorn content. Water. Okay. Get the unicorn some water. I, it, it has such a nice... Uh, Oh, this is helpful. Um, it has such a nice arcadey vibe. This is what I meant to say. So, but I need some coffee now. So, coffee. Oh, there's coffee. This is how it works. Okay. This is good. Unicorn needs a flower. Yes, this is good. Okay, I think I think I figured things out for me now. It, come on, eat it. Water. <laughs> it poops out coffee. This makes so much sense. Okay, unicorn needs water. In the end, the unicorn is like a cat, right? It just constantly demands. Water. More water for the unicorn then. Close the pen. Get some coffee. I like that the, there's a P on the mug. Okay, um, what's the goal of this game? 100% coffee saturation. Because that's my goal in life usually. So unicorn needs hay. You know what? Phil needs his coffee now. Come on, yes. Unicorn needs hay, so let's not neglect the unicorn now. The unicorn needs hay. More hay? Well, hay it shall be. Hay there, good. The unicorn needs hay. Close the pen. Man, life ain't a pony farm is a German proverb. And it sure ain't, because apparently it's a unicorn farm. More coffee, more. Unicorn needs hay. Good. So this is more or less a farming simulation. Flower Flowers grow up here. So I'm trying now f to go for 100% for 100% uh, caffeine saturation. But first, let's give the unicorn some water because it's healthy to stay hydrated. The unicorn needs hay. But first, Phil needs his coffee. Uh. You turn. You turn yourself into coffee. <laughs> life goal. My life goal succeeded. Oh man, <laughs> this was this was this was very fun. This was very very nice. A Katy and Arcady experience, and especially with such a handsome and uh, relatable protagonist. I haven't played a game like this in at least a week. <laughs> Uh, this was this was very nice. This was a bit frantic, but still I felt that I managed um, I think maybe you could uh, have it um, 
maybe switch it up that the unicorn uh, as you're getting a flower like uh, every eighth or tenth time or so it chooses uh, it, ch it changes changes its mind and says actually no i, I wanted some hay <laughs> Maybe something something like this, or maybe it could use uh, it could walk around in the pen, so that you you also have to make sure, maybe have the pen that the pen has more uh, gates, something something uh, along those lines. I'm I'm just I'm just again spitballing here, but like I said, it was it was a nice experience uh, and very arcadey, and you always get me with something that's arcadey. Okay. Um, there are four end states, one win and three fail states. So I think I will keep playing then this game on my own time to find the other fail states. Maybe maybe feed the unicorn incorrectly, but at least now I know that if I don't close the gate that it can uh, it will bail on me. Why will a unicorn bail on me? Why, why would What are you doing? Okay, so it's still there. We're good. We're good. It's just the other one that's that's fallen. <laughs> okay, yeah, this was the unicorn and the need for coffee. A very relatable game for some reason. By Ink Dio Twenty One, I give you two thumbs up and uh, bonus points for your wonderful German, which I completely understand. Thank you. So um, next up is. Let's just see if someone else submitted their game in the meantime. Let's scale this down and see if something else pop up there. No, nothing of today's date or with today's date. So I can keep using the file that we had before if I well you know what let's let's make a, a new CSV farm because I'm not quite sure if I've taken out the last game that we've played or not so yeah let's let's just be there on the safe side but uh, really I'm I'm quite uh, humbled and and honored that uh, <laughs> some of you made me their pro protagonist in their games I mean of course like I always say flattery will get you nowhere with me but still, keep keep going, keep going. I, I, I like this. Let's see anything in the chat. Uh, thanks for playing. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for for making this game. Like I said, I had <laughs> I had a ball uh, of yarn. No, a ball of hay. Um, CSV. Cool. So. I think this makes uh, our list current and the RNG 2000 will do its thing and pick the next one. For oh look at this, my nose isn't itching anymore. This is good, so there's rain tomorrow. Balloon Rush by Coca Pastic. I hope. Yes, uh, the link is here. I will post it in Twitch. There we go. And line 32. 32, there we go. Balloon rush. Good. Safe. Yes. Now let's learn more about this game. I played another game with a rush entitled before. For some region, region, I always want to say Russian. There we go. Um, where is my menu bar? Did I just, there we, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I learn new shortcuts for my browser each time. This is wonderful, row to sheet. And there's a Twitter handle, wonderful. So I will inform the creator of this very game that I'll be playing it right now copy paste wonderful and this time I pasted the link to my games and not the link to their game on Ludum Dare which happened I think the last time I did playthroughs was where I wanted to tweet at them with my uh, stream link of course but I still had in my clipboard the link to their game so they <laughs> people uh, probably would uh, think that I'm, I'll be trolling them and they 
wouldn't be not so far off, but it was completely unintentional. So Balloon Rush by Coca Pastek. Apparently I wasn't too far off there. This is huge. About the game, we couldn't make it last game jam as we scoped too big, so we were so happy and proud to come up with a finished and polished game this time. Also, you might prefer the Windows version from the WebGL. There might be some bugs with the WebGL due to physics frames. Anything else? Love your content, waiting every time for the post-mortem and watching them with a lot of joy. You played our game for LD44, Apokarma Lips. All right, <laughs> and that was the best thing. Oh, you're welcome, and yeah, congratulations for having the luck on your side again to be picked by the RNG 2000. Did I paste the link? Yes, I pasted the link. Wonderful. Balloon Rush. Uh, by Stefan Leimer, Faber, Abadu, Fabian and Coca Pastik. There we go. Oh, this looks this looks already uh, like something out of a Jules Verne novel or Jules Verne, uh, how you want to pronounce it. I've realized that uh, he's a French author, but uh, Americans tend to tend to Americanize everything. And he is not Jules Verne, he is Jules Verne. The balloon rush embark on a journey through deadly saws and flamethrowers in the sky. Wonderful. So this is steampunk. Is this steampunk? And help uh, the cute cat uh, with its hot, hot air balloon to reach the finish line. So we got cats, we got balloons, we got saw blades. Sounds like a video game. Balloon Rush is a puzzle game where you place fans across the levels and control a hot air balloon. This is interesting. Blow air uh, on the balloon to move it across the levels without touching the deadly saws and avoiding the flamethrowers. Ah, dangerous skies. Treacherous skies. You don't want the cute cat to die or uh, <clears throat> or explode in a horrible death, don't you? Well, some people are more of dog persons, so maybe. <laughs> Maybe some would want to. Controls. You can play a short tutorial in the game. This is amazing. Uh, to learn about the controls. Wonderful. Left click, place a fan. Hold left click, move a fan. Escape. Okay, so click left click. Use the sliders in the control panel to adjust the angle and strength of the fans. Features. 12 fully playable levels and a tutorial. 12 levels. Wow, I. it was so hard for me to just to, to make three. <laughs> Configurable sound level, a cute cat in a balloon. So this is definitely a feature. And uh, the GIF already uh, looks to me like some frantic, horrible death thing. Oh, this looks a bit like uh, The Incredible Machine in some way. Does anyone remember that game? It was a DOS game. I think it was published by Bruderband. Not quite sure. Leaderboard. Our game uses a leaderboard system. Try to be the best and reach your top three. I will try to and I won't make it. Beat the level the fastest possible and try to use less fans than expected. I'll be happy if I make it through all this. Stefan Leimer and Antonin Ant Antoine Thierry for programming and level design, Fabrizio Palmas for sound and music, Marco Onis for the game art and Fabrizio Ayana for the game backgrounds and the game thumbnail. I mean, this is, is a very nice art style. So let's then get the Windows version because I've heard it is not as glitchy as the WebGL version because we all know physics and fixed update and browsers, right? Now I'm looking at the chat because uh, I always uh, forget to look at the chat and people are <laughs> sometimes telling me for 10 minutes, hey, your stream is broken or your audio levels are off and I don't don't see it. So if you have anything to say, at me in the chat, I will see if I can see it. <laughs> the problem is now uh, it's, it's highlighted uh, uh, if you add me, of course, with different usernames, depending on whether you watch this on Twitch or on YouTube. And the thing is, I have to click between all those uh, two tabs to see my name being highlighted. So um, there's a question on Twitch, how can we submit? And there's a submission form that I posted somewhere. So you know what, I will paste the link again. Submit here. Maybe I should have some kind of bot that regularly retweets uh, this link there. But this would be the submission form for your games to be in the run for the RNG 2000. So uh, I think I downloaded it, Balloon Rush. And we will see <laughs> how how the winds of destiny shall treat me. So how big is this game? 
118 megs. That's quite big for a Ludum Lara game. So I'm assuming there is sound. And let's hope that uh, the game won't won't overload my stream again. But it looks it looks good. It looks good. Okay, I hear sound. Do you also hear sound? I make it a bit louder, I think. Balloon Rush, a game made for Ludum Lara 46. Hello, what is your name? Oh, this is nice. And I like this uh, this little animation there. So what is our name? We will use it for the leaderboards to keep track of your high scores. You know what? I will go with Pixel Prophecy. And I didn't even misspell it this time. Wonderful. Why can't I confirm? Because of the space bar, perhaps? Oh, it's just too long. Then I will just go by Pixel. This is nice. I, I really like those kind of responsive buttons. This is cute. Uh, I'm not sure I'm hearing anything. So let's uh, then turn up the volume. And I hope you can hear it now better because it's a bit loud on my headphones actually. <laughs> um, Frank says better. This is good. So um, from the music alone it already sounds... reminds me a little bit of... what's the game called? Frostpunk. I don't know why it has this 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 airy, uh, melancholic vibe. Okay, so from the credits, oh, this is nice that we get all the people even with with uh, little thumbnails because sometimes you really wonder, just be curious about how people look like who made the games, especially in times like this with social distancing. It's always nice to see other people. It's it's hello, let's be all friends. Oh, it's a cat. It's a fat cat. This is even nice. This must be the programmer. Okay, let's start the game then and select our level. Let's go with the tutorial level. This is very polished with the leaderboards and uh, level selection. And I mean, this is already like a finished game. Welcome. Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Got it. This is your hot air balloon. You can control it directly. You cannot control it directly. I get it. Placing fans. So place a fan and move your balloon. Press the left click. Huh. Controlling the fan, you can change the force, and yeah, this this makes sense. So I will just try, try this then. Start. This was bad. Okay, so I think I know what's what we need to do here. So I will just try to use them stronger. Okay, good. So force, one hundred percent, and this. Maybe also 100% and see how this... Uh, no. This has strong... Strong vibes of uh, the Incredible Machine, like I said. Let's, let's make it like this. Yes! Oh, Look at the kitty! Score 1440. I don't know if this was good or not, but let's... Oh, look at this. The balloon is just floating outside of the level. But this is fine. This is fine. So, okay, cool. So let's just start. See what's happening. Okay, so... Yeah, not much is happening there. Cool. Then let's turn up the force to 100 from here and see how this turns out. Okay. Cool, but let's get the angle here, right? Maybe blow this thing here into this direction, and then yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's not good if the balloon hits the other fans directly. This is a uh, helpful knowledge. This is very good. So, no. But maybe let's try the angle differently. <laughs> What's also interesting is that the balloon is coming apart. I don't know if you've noticed it. Um, okay, so I only can place only two, two fans. This is, this is hard then. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you've noticed that uh, at the end uh, the, the little uh, basket with the cat is coming apart. It's, like here. So this was better. This was better. Let's just increase here the force and see how this goes then. Almost. Almost. Stronger. 
Who put saw blades in the sky? Almost. Okay. This is, by the way, this is also how I program. Just barely make it, barely make it, and then it's a okay. So, uh, level completed. Okay, I got three fans now for this. So, of course, I will blow it first in this direction there and see how this goes. Not so well, apparently. Okay, good. Good. So as soon as we are through here, I need a fan that goes straight up and that's not enough. Okay, so I will also have a fan here that just slows down the momentum. Maybe, maybe like this. Yes, there we go. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost, but still. Yeah, this is nice. Next level. This is cool. So this must be one of those pesky flamethrowers then. Okay, so this one, uh, this is hard, so it goes on and off. Uh, okay, well... Okay, so I also need to really time, time it when I start the level. Yes, this was not enough. So I give it a little bit more of a boost from down here. Wait for the flame to subside. Yes! Huh, this wasn't too hard. He said before utterly, utterly failing in the next level. So, okay, four fans. Of course, what do we need to do? Just see and learn okay maybe the force is too strong with this one this is what star wars told us and then have here another that just picks it up with a lot of force something like this okay so this is the theory what should happen and now we will see how my plans uh, fare when they hit reality good bad very bad okay so the force is just too strong the force must be too strong here the force is not strong enough on this one the force is not strong enough okay i really need this one here or maybe this one i don't need i don't need a fourth one do i really need it no to to slow it down I would want to pick up this one now it works okay I will try now to slow it down like this and put the fourth one down here so yes we kind of made it around the corner here this is good and then give it all we got to push it into the goal direction no not quite <laughs> In terms of visual feedback, sometimes it's really hard to tell in what direction the wind is blowing, especially if, because the, the particles are such thin and light against light background. I'm sure maybe you could have something differently. It doesn't have to be like this, this white uh, lines for the wind there. Hmm. Okay, so we got this one here to change direction, this one to break. And this one here to kill the cat. So <laughs> let's try it like this. Okay, we need this one to go upwards sooner. Maybe this is too strong there. Let's try it like this. It's not strong enough. Maybe I need to change the direction of the balloon sooner. But this is a wonderful uh, example. Very good. This already, already made. This is a wonderful example of very clear and precise mechanics for your game. Very delineated what you can do and what not. And the rest uh, is just uh, interesting and clever level design. Yes, no. 
Maybe if this happens later down here. Number of tries, 15. Oh my god. I don't think I'll be able to make it through this level, actually. <laughs> uh, but okay, I will, I will give it another try now. But this is very nice. I like those kind of puzzle games. Uh, maybe, maybe even harder in this direction. I think my problem is that I'm using all those fans almost at force 100. Oh, almost, almost got it. Maybe a bit sooner, maybe this one a bit steeper. Like I said, did I just make it better? Oh, this was, this was, this was too steep. Maybe this was too steep. Yeah, this one needs to pick it up a bit later. Or not. <laughs> Another thing in terms of uh, a user interface would be to have, uh, instead of those angles there, that I could control it directly there on on those fans. Maybe, I don't know, maybe with a right click and I drag a left and right, it turns and if I move up and down uh, for the intensity, something something like this. But yeah, I'm, I'm not quite hopeful that I that I will make it this one. Yeah, probably doing things, doing things incorrectly there. Yeah, I need this one here to slow down the speed of the balloon. Okay, I will try it until we are at Ah, damn it! Doing still, still the same thing. I will try three more times now. Then we get uh, 30 tries, but I don't think that I will uh, make it to the top 10. <laughs> yeah. No! Ah, oh, damn it! Can I blow it a bit more up. Ah, uh, no. Okay, yeah, I, I think. <laughs> I think I'm not good at this. But uh, like I said, I really like the concept. It's a very clear and defined mechanic and you get a lot of bang for your buck. Or in this case, for your cat out of those mechanics. Uh, as you've said, it's just... Uh, uh, with all this, this polishing going on, you manage to get like 12 or something like this levels out of this. This is, this is quite amazing. This usually says that you got a very good mechanic going for you if you can make 14 levels or even more that are all interesting in their own way. And if I can just extrapolate from uh, those that I've seen so far, uh, I think you're, you're, uh, this, this, is, this is quite a good game that has um, a lot of potential if you want to keep working on it and bring it out on mobile or something because I think this would work very nicely on, on mobile. Just just a game for in between and you can always uh, add more levels, add more different kinds of balloons maybe, maybe some heavier animals such as uh, elephants or I don't know unicorns perhaps, something along those lines. But yeah, very nice, very nice. I give you two thumbs up and thank you so much for submitting. Let's have some uh, rest for my poor ears. I don't know why I've always had these kinds of headphones. It's AKG. It's an Austrian uh, manufacturer and this is this is apparently showing my uh, patriotism. <laughs> but those are the K271 studio headphones and the problem is why um, I keep using them is that when I'm doing audio mixing or so I'm so used to, to the sound through those uh, headphones that I really can know that I can trust um, whatever little changes that I make. And if I have different headphones, it probably takes me half a year to really get to get used to them. This is why I don't bother. <laughs> so where was this game? Balloon Rush. Very good game. Balloon Rush. There we go. Von Coca Pastik. Yes, we've played this. And let's mark this green. Let me scale it down so I have here my tools again. And is there a new submission? Apparently there is. Yes, we got two new submissions live during this stream, which is wonderful. 
so after playing uh, another patrons' games, I will recreate now the CSV file from all the new, so that all the everyone who uh, submitted their game is also in the run for the next playthrough. Okay, so we got something that's still open in 7-zip. How did this happen? Okay, so now it shouldn't shouldn't be open there. Good. So the next one is from Milestone Games. Is Kale Person present? Because he didn't put a social link there. So I hope, Kale, I hope you're there. And it's Tears of Coffee. This is such a such a, a sad name. There we go. And about the game, there is currently no win state for the game. Well, we've all been there, I think. Um, it goes on forever. Oh, and please don't make the game too easy for yourself by abusing the storage mechanic. Well, this is usually how I play games. If I if I can abuse something to make things easier for me, I will. I didn't manage to tune it properly before the deadline. Anything else you want to tell me? You're awesome! Thank you so much! You are too! You're awesome! So let's play then um, Tears of Coffee. Kaffitor. I have no idea how to pronounce this. I'm assuming that this is, judging from those little donut there on top of the A, I'm assuming this is Swedish. Translate google.com. And let's have it pronounced for me. It's completely different than I would have thought that it sounds. So this is Kaffitor. Sorry, all Swedish speaking people. So it's a cup of coffee. This is nice. A small cup of coffee. Translates literally to coffee tier in Swedish. This is this is cute. You are trying to make coffee house you inherited from your grandfather stay in business against the fierce competition of large coffee house chains. Being a former mechanic, you must use your best engineering know-how to keep it alive. I like this. Oh man, and the, the pixel graphics. I like those already. Uh, play now, Chrome recommended. Note, running out of uh, time, significant scope had to be cut in the final hours. As always, gameplay is currently endless, but the game is being developed further. Stay tuned for updates. Drag or scroll mouse to move around the coffee house and try to keep up with the ever-increasing orders. Um, gameplay, manage complex orders, race against time, build up storage. Oh, this is very cute. This is very cute. Produce even more. Bugs fixed post deadline fixed game uh, library linking issues that prevented the game from starting. Yeah, this is always good. Game breaking issue and game breaking issue. Yeah, this is this is cool. So let's try and play it in our browser then. And I close this here. And I'm really uh, looking forward to making some bugs with coffee. Why why keep I doing this? This is stupid. And let's crack my knuckles. And did I? I don't think I posted uh, the link to the game now. Almost forgot it. There we go. Sorry. Sorry about that. There is Tears of Coffee. Yes, this is just what we've heard so far. And there's music. Can you hear the music? This is nice. Okay, so... I'm scrolling and we already got some orders there. Available products, but production queue. Oh, yeah. Apple. I don't have an apple. Coming soon. Oh, there. There's an apple. And this one. Okay. The clock is literally just spazzing already. And yeah, this is now a disgruntled customer. Okay. I think, I think now I know how this works. Maybe, maybe because I'm playing this on a 4K screen, I don't have to scroll back and forth there. So, okay, good. So if I give people the wrong thing then. And now the apple is coming. This is good, okay. I really like this. 
Do we have an iced tea or what's it? A hot chocolate. Yes, we have a hot chocolate. This is nice. And a slice of strawberry pie cake and... Ah oh man, this, this game really shows me how much I miss Starbucks. <laughs> but one day perhaps. What do we want here? A mint tea for the lady. Of course we have a mint tea. Interestingly, I've also uh, started a turd or a cinnamon bun. However you want to look at it. I've also started my own coffee box game where it was all about managing people and getting also stuff to the customers and um, This was very very basic, but I already had a couple of baristas that would uh, have different uh, skill sets and depending on where their positions were in the kitchen or behind the counter they would see who would be closest to something and then to fulfill the order or something like this but um, what I spent the most time with was uh, when people who order that they tell their name and the most time I spent with was uh, getting the name wrong. For example, if a customer was called Mark with a C, <laughs> the barista at the end, at the at, uh, end of plane would call Kark, coffee for Kark. Uh, this was hilarious. Yeah, it never managed to get beyond, uh, beyond my very early stages of uh, prototyping. So cappuccino twice. This is nice. Mint tea, cappuccino, or was it a hot coffee and a slice of cake? Man, those those pixels are very nice of those different beverages. I I almost want to eat them. Um, there's something in the chat going on and I will get to it shortly. Hey Pixel Prophecy, I have two games but I can't post the second game. You made two games? Oh my god. Uh, why can't you post the second game? Oh, is it because I only allowed uh, a one, one entry? Well, in that case I think you can re-enter. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how this works uh, on, on my end, I'm sorry. Hmm. I've never had anyone trying to submit two games to me, actually. Okay, so uh, this game, I think I've already uh, uh, took advantage of it by playing it on a 4K screen because I don't have to, to be scrolling back and forth. <laughs> now, so I think this makes it much, much easier because I can always look at the order and don't have to memorize it. And I don't even have to abuse the storage system. It would have been nice if there would be some kind of uh, scorekeeping. But like, like I said, you ran out of time <laughs> and uh, had to, to scope down. But uh, seriously, the pixel art is very nice. Oh, look at this, a cold brew coffee. This is good. Once, twice, twice the cold brew. Did I just make three cold brew? Why not? If you keep a cold brew on the counter for longer, then it will become a warm brew, right? I once uh, went to a, a coffee house in, in my home uh, town. Uh, it's under different management now, but uh, I just call, uh, recalled that I overheard a conversation between the shop owner and one of the waitresses, and the waitress said, uh, brought back a cappuccino that uh, some uh, person didn't uh, finish. And she said, oh, look at this. They only drank like, like a quarter of it and so, so do we really have to throw it away <laughs> and the shop manager said no no just just put it in the refrigerator someone will will order an iced tea sooner or later and this is when i when i thought yeah probably not going to visit this cafe anymore but it's under different management now this has been more more than a decade ago so so it's good <laughs> okay i think i'm doing quite well there and Euler Moises says uh, that the submission page won't allow uh, them even to add another or try again. So um, uh, I don't know actually how to do this really <laughs> to, to have another uh, to allow a second game. You know what I could try on my other screen while I'm brewing coffee on this one. 
I will try now to make it possible to submit another game. Um, okay, multitasking. This is actually what this game is about, right? So data collection, limit to one response. Okay, try now again, please, to submit your game. Uh, via the form, maybe it should work now. So, um, the orders are getting a little bit more... Uh, I think they're getting a bit more harder, but like I said, I think I'm playing this wrong because I can see the entire queue at once. Oh, cupcake, come on, I really like this, this angry <laughs> twitching there of, of the stopwatch. There's... oh good, person is happy again. So, um, and strawberry cake. Yeah, uh, I would have uh, liked if there was some kind of scorekeeping, like I said, or yeah, just how happy your customers are and maybe maybe have it organized in days where some of the same customers would return from one day to the next and then you would already know what they would be ordering something along those lines but uh, like you said you're still working on it and this one here reads coming soon so i'm assuming that's just much more to the game that you really just didn't have time to but i like the 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 upright base there giving off some nice coffee vibes there and by the way this is actually a really nice uh, coffee shop that I would want to visit because it got this huge back uh, lot there with strange machines there brewing coffee so it's not just people it's, it's just you're standing there and yeah forgot the donut sorry but uh, with all those kinds of, of yeah, planned features that you have, like uh, different the different uh, uh, orders or different products take a certain time to be produced. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot uh, in there still. Maybe have more baristas so that you have to, even if it's just two, that uh, now it's two people taking orders and you don't have to mix them up, something like this. So um, yeah, I think, I've seen all there is to this game, but like I said, um, the presentation is very nice and very secure in its style. Only, yeah, it's, it's obvious that you didn't manage to finish in time. But like I said, it's, it's very nice. I give this two thumbs up and two coffee beans that have, haven't been shed out by <laughs> a unicorn that I was keeping in a pen next to my well of water. Um, now Frank says it does mean that I allowed multiple games that I have to check for duplicates. That is correct. So please, Euler, let me know uh, when you've submitted your game then because then I will not allow more than one response. Oh, look at this. I get an email from YouTube that says film motion video is now online. This is wonderful. So yeah, this was uh, Tears of Coffee by, let me scroll up, Milestone Games. Okay, so um, let's see if Euler managed to get their game submitted. There is three times silence, please. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming you only wanted to submit it once. <laughs> so we'll take out now uh, the last two because as we can see here, just let me show you uh, that I think you didn't uh, intend to post the same game three times so it's silence please but only once <laughs> but like i said if you have another game with another title or so please please edit i will naturally i won't take out that one <laughs> okay so yes let's create of course i need to use my fills menu create csv for rng 2000 um, scripting uh, Google Sheets has been quite a fun experience actually I thought it would be overly complicated but it's really nice you just say here tools and script editor and then you can really script the whole uh, spreadsheets and I enjoy this way of doing it much more over what's possible with the Microsoft Excel and uh, also uh, LibreOffice I don't know why I like to do things in the browser then And yes, everything is there. Also, silence, please. 
and the second game is Space Exodus. You know what? Let's let's make sure that this is also there in the run. So silence, please. Apparently, it didn't didn't quite get through. <laughs> um, but you know what? I will do this manually. I will copy now the web address there. This is the correct one. Space Exodus. And space exodus save and I will take out the empty uh, rows now delete rows so we got uh, from Euler two games there and I will also add it here to the CSV uh, man <laughs> editing spreadsheets live on stream I'm so sorry that you have to see this <laughs> So Euler won, apparently it wasn't his first game, especially if you make two games. Copy, CSV, paste, and the title, space, exodus, copy, and paste to the CSV file. So we should be set, now I can download this as a CSV file. I didn't rename it, so now we have a CSV and a TXT file, so I will just delete the TXT file. Rename the CSV to TXT, yes, this is what I want to do. And let's just double check here that it is here, silence please, and space exodus. Yes, everything is here, so theoretically your games should be in the running then. And we will see what RNG2000 feels like right now. Have mercy! I hope we have by Stefan Jovanovic. I'm assuming it might be Jovanovic. I'm not quite sure, but I think I don't have all the glyphs there in my fonts. So we will see there. Um, yes, <laughs> apparently I also don't have the glyphs in the font uh, that do the uh, underneath this panel here in my overlay. But uh, yeah, it's. It's a C with a hot check. Is it called a hot check? I don't know. Anyway, let's have mercy. And here is the link to the game posted in the chat. And did I close? Uh, no, <laughs> not like last time where I was constantly closing <laughs> this spreadsheet. And yeah, I was a little bit, just a little bit confused or scatterbrained. Have mercy, Stefan Jovanovic. Yes, <laughs> I was uh, right in assuming that there was a missing uh, letter at the end. So, Phil, create a CSV from RNG. No, row to sheet. <laughs> and he got a Twitter handle, so there I can say I am playing your game right now on stream copy paste you can see that this is a one person operation <laughs> sometimes it would have been nice to have some kind of of a live director or yeah just some technicians who would make sure that the audio levels are nice and that data is coming through and that i'm not forgetting anything but so far i think i think i, I hope it's at least uh, authentic to you <laughs> to know that yeah i'm just doing everything at the same time have mercy by stefan jovanovic i hope this is how to pronounce your name it's a serbian name and this is another job for translate.google.com and it is oh <laughs> i copied it's a serbian name so this yeah that is not very helpful i should copy that one here and it says bosnian but i'm assuming that this isn't too far off Stefan didn't hear a thing Stefan Okay, so uh, Stephen Hawking says it's Stefan Jovanovic. So you're welcome for uh, the robotic pronunciation of your name. So there is uh, nothing else about the game that he has uh, offered us, but I can see already some very cute pixel art. This is nice. Have mercy, the game where killing is not allowed. 
You control a group of noble warriors trying to get out of the dungeon without killing any goblin, even though goblins are bastards and will try to kill you. This is very nice. This is a very nice twist on the tired old stereotypes. I like this already. Each goblin has an ape HP range in which it will be immobilized but won't be killed indicated by parentheses next to HP. Your job is to make enough damage to immobilize goblins. If you kill them, you are screwed and will have to try again. Oh, this is this is very nice. So we have to bring down, as I can see here, for example, this goblin down to two to three health, but not kill them, just not kill them. Controls up and down arrow navigation, space confirm. So it's just heal or defend. This, this makes sense. Okay, this is thankfully very straightforward, at least now. Uh, the pixel look is very uh, nice and stylish. And uh, I'll say no thanks because I don't know yet whether I want to pay money for it. Did I click the Windows build? Did I click it? Now I clicked it, good. Now I clicked it twice, so we get twice the bits downloaded. Wonderful. Build 1.1.1. So I'm assuming there has already been something uh, done in terms of bug fixing. So what's going on in the chat? Uh, Euler says, thank you. So um, nothing else there. I can fully concentrate on Pixel music or chip music. This is, I like the music. This is very nice. This has so strong super or any S wipes. Can you hear the music by the way? Let me let me just make sure that that this really comes through. Or did I turn just my 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 head speakers down? Music is quite low. Okay, so. Um, Let's try it. Let's try it like this. Is it better now? I would hope so. Have mercy, a game where killing is not allowed. Press space to start your journey or press escape to quit. Not recommended. <laughs> I like this that the game says, yeah, you shouldn't press escape because you're bad. You, it, that would be bad. Um, better, yes, good, wonderful. Because I want really, uh, if, if someone is going through the trouble of making music for the games and then I'm talking all over it so that you really can't uh, appreciate it. It's, it would be a shame. Tutorial, okay. HP and safe HP range, four defense, five attack, heal protection points. Win state, get the goblin's health to the safe HP range. It will be immobilized but won't be killed. So two or three. Get the goblin's health uh, below um, the safe state HP range and it will be killed. Okay, so I can understand this. Press space to continue. It is Julia's turn. Okay, so it's just up and down in space. So let's um, defend. Julia switches to it's Henry's turn. Who is Henry? This one is Henry. Um, puts a unit into the defending. Yeah, let's let's all defend now. And Adam can attack. Okay, three, five, eight. I have no idea what this means. Let's attack our oh, three, five, eight. So this is very nice. That I have to be uh, also uh, some kind of skill check there. This is cool. Okay, so it's Julia's turn then. Um, maybe we should heal Adam. This is very nice. I like this little skill skill check there. So Henry, what will you do? Protect. Let's protect Adam. And what will Adam do? Okay, so um, to get this into the three or two health, I need to try and hit this one. Four HP. Okay, so Julia should probably heal. Adam. This is good. Henry, what will you do? You will defend or protect. Let's protect Adam. Maybe I'm hitting it wrong. 
maybe I'm hitting exactly the opposite where uh, uh, where I should be hitting the bars because I thought the red one is the hardest to hit and this is why why I tried to hit the red one. So let's try to hit in the green ones or probably not because the health is already down at 7. I will try to hit the blue. Yes, you succeeded. You've proven your honor for now. So let's continue our journey and it's already getting a bit harder now. Okay, this is very nice that we have to uh, try not to uh, overshoot in terms of our uh, attack mechanics and so on. So this is, I really like also the, the presentation of this. So let's defend now and what will Henry do? Henry shall, yeah, let's, let's have all defend apart from Adam who Hmm, you know what? I will try to attack now. Helga! This is nice. And now I need to hit the red one, I think. I, oh, now I get it why it's the ha harder. Yeah, this was too... This was too too strong. Now I get it why why the, the, the bar is as it is, where um, the lower your damage goes, the shorter the bars are. Yeah, because... It's much easier uh, to hit uh, the big uh, damage than to hit just the right amount of damage. So I will try to hit Helga again in the blue. And this was too strong again, so yeah. Uh, yeah, let's, let's heal. Well, we don't need it actually. Very nice mechanic, so let's defend. And Adam shall now attack. Helga again. Was this too strong again? My god. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's five. I was... Uh, sorry. I was completely thinking... I don't know. I'm not good with numbers. I'm not good with numbers. This is why I do computer stuff. Because I have a computer do the calculations for me. So apparently now we're asked to do the calculations ourselves. Man, this sucks. Okay, I will try not to attack Helga in the red. And now this worked. Okay, so we've immobilized Helga. And let's get revenge with the Rex. So let's first heal Adam. This was not much. Okay, let's um, protect Adam. And Adam shall now attack. So three, five, eight. And we need to get uh, the health down by nine. So let's go by five. So let's hit the blue region. This was the red region, but it's good, but it's good. But this is good. So Julia needs to heal our damage dealer now. Just a little bit. You know what would have been interesting to overheal also? So now we're protecting Julia. And, hmm, okay, um, Rex got 13 HP now, so we need to make 4 or 5 damage, so I really need to nail the blue bar now. Yeah, this was already the green one. Ah, oh dear, but I know, I think I know where this is going. Uh, in subsequent levels, but I really like those mechanics and the presentation Mwah, Spot on this is very nice So um, yeah, I should probably spend more time doing mental arithmetics to really try uh, and, and to get my strategy correct But it's I really like this how he took those yeah standard RPG turn-based mechanics and Put a twist on them that you really have to make sure in your mind what your strategy is because you just can't keep on hammering on the enemies until they drop at zero now you really have to make sure what your next step and the following steps are before even attacking as you've seen here sometimes the the amount of damage you make is uh, not the right amount that you need so you need to yeah just uh, give it uh, <laughs> punish the enemies in sh in small dosages until you're just in the sweet spot and uh, again i really like this kind of of moving bar where you have to to hit in the right moment so this is also uh, amount of skill and not otherwise I think if you wouldn't have this and I should 
uh, could just select what amount of damage I wanted to deal, uh, I think this would be pretty boring. But this little thing gives it a nice little twist. So very nice, two thumbs up. Thank you so much for Have Mercy. This was very cool. So let's make sure that I have played Have Mercy. Yes, and did I exclude it from the CSV file? Mercy, I did not. So let's have a look here. Uh, are there no new entries? Okay. Then it's time. Oh, Milestone Games. Of course, I have played Milestones games just before. The next patron game is from Alfred Baudisch, aka Split Painter. And you might have seen him uh, on YouTube because he's got uh, quite a big channel and he is uh, absolutely big with making games uh, and in uh, Portuguese language. So if you're making games and speak Portuguese, chances are quite good that you've come across uh, his channel already. So um, let's make, there we go, the road to a sheet. Where is my notepad? There it is. That I can update the overlay. Kaomaru Kaiju. I have no idea what this means. I think Aunt Kaiju, those uh, big monsters of the Japanese uh, Toho films, like, like Godzilla and so on. But I, again, I'm completely ignorant of this and this is just a guess. So yeah, please, please put me... <laughs> Put my uh, uh, um, yes. Put me straight in in the in the chat if I got anything wrong. So Split Painter says uh, creature influenced creature influenced by Final Fantasy VII weapons. I'm assuming it's FF7 means Final Fantasy VII. Man, I could be wrong again. Maybe it's, it's something completely uh, uh, <laughs> final fight. Maybe who knows? Uh, Godzilla, Castle in the Sky, Robot, and Mood by Silent Hill. Okay, if it's Final Fantasy VII, then uh, it's already, you got already here a best of there. Kaiju is Godzilla, yeah, good. Thank you for Juiced Up, uh, thank you Juiced Up for, for uh, confirming this. I'm working on a post-gen version with gameplay mechanics and additional original planned, uh, originally planned endings. Yeah, the endings usually fall by the wayside, as I know from my game. Sometimes it's really, <laughs> you really uh, are happy when you implement the fail condition and when players actually manage to get through you really don't have a lot of time to show them something rewarding like um, Kojima does with 20 minute cutscenes at the ending of something and I'm talking about of his uh, uh, game uh, Snatcher where it, it was really it was a 25 minute cutscene for the ending and the game was from 88 it was crazy <laughs> um Anything else you want to tell me sounds very accusatory. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Noted. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Kaomaru Kaiju. When these devastating natural occurrences come, it's because the environment has been mistreated and is showing righteous anger. Played now on Ichayo. Weapon desk burdens. Oh my god. I love those big texels there in this. Uh, you, um, unfiltered, uh, what's it called? Yeah, un unfiltered, uh, um, not perspective corrected PlayStation 1 graphics. Wonderful. A short, dark, interactive story where the Kaiju Kaomaru arises with atmospheric music and visuals inspired by PS1 games and Half Life, all done from scratch for the gem, alone, no team. This is quite something. Kaiju from Japanese, Strange Beast from my point of view, Planet Protectors. Oh, this is nice. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you for spelling out what Kaiju means. Made with Blender, Godot, LMMS, and Audacity Post Mortem, published here. Oh, by the way, of course, I should post it here as well the link in the chat uh, love those gifts and those three yeah it's it got a strong very strong PlayStation 1 wipe endings and gameplay mechanics that were planned warning spoilers ahead if you want to wait for the post gem version do not read so I won't be reading this and a cry to save the planet our land devastated and bleak and then for progress 
devastate somewhere else, we can't even protect our own. We are too many, numerous, uncontrollable. Note, I planned six endings and three gameplay mechanics, but the scope was too big. Six endings, are you crazy? <laughs> Uh, I really like how, how, how this looks. Is this Mount Fuji there in the background? I would assume so. I have no idea uh, what this will be about, but yeah, let's let's give it a go. And my god, even here with the pixely background, I really enjoy this. Windows 32 bits. 32 bits? That's, that's like 16 too many. Well, of course, well, then again, well, we're on the PlayStation area, so okay, 32 bits should be, should be fine. So, uh, download is complete. Is the overlay correct? Let me just check OBS. The stream health is still healthy. This is good. And the chat is not shouting at me for uh, turning up or down my volume. So I think I think we're in the green now. Look at this, it's just one exe file. This is nice. And it even got a readme uh, that spells out again how this game was made, where the textures came from, and that everything was done in 48 hours, I would assume. So. I'm very much looking forward to Kamaru Kaiju. Is there audio? Apparently there is. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I want to make this full screen. This doesn't work. Alt and enter. You know what? I will start over again because I can faintly hear music, but it's very silent. So uh, I will treat you. Uh, I hope I will treat you to uh, the full uh, audio, desktop audio at 0 dB. So I hope uh, you can hear everything there. Let me just refresh the view. Wonderful. And I will try again. I can't get it to full screen. Ah. Hmm. Does anyone know how to force a game from Godot to full screen because all that enter is not working and the full screen, the maximize icon is not working and this is bad. <laughs> doesn't work. It doesn't work. I can't even move it. So, hmm. you know what? What I will try again to give this game the proper... Uh, presentation it deserves. I will change now the screen resolution of my main display from UHD down to let's say yeah sure why not um, the small HD what, should, what was it 12 1280 by 960 was it that 128096. Let's let's try this and see if it breaks anything. Okay, so uh, I think this this should be better now. Let's try this again. Or you know what? This is 3 by 4 uh, 4 4 by th Yeah, what 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 am I clicking? <laughs> okay, now I think this should be should be nice. Okay, cool. So let's try this again and I hope you can hear it all. Chart. Abused. A lot of camera work going on there. Drained. Exploited. Overpopulated. Kaumaru, Chapter 1. Balance. Okay, so I have no idea where we are. Oh, look, it's, it's a little pagoda or temple. Okay, let's start. Mount Kamaru, raised and aligned, 
528 years after the last event. The monks can hear the cry of the planet. Space to meditate. Well then, let's meditate. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Unform this form. Make it empty. To make it full. Kao Maru. Kawa. Kawa Maru. Kawa Maru. Ah, oh, those pixels. Wow. <laughs> okay, that has Silent Hill vibes, definitely. Okay, then let's balance. Keep the planet alive. Nothing else can be alive. Kamaru Kaiju, Planet Keeper. I got ending one of one. <laughs> I planned six endings and three mechanics, but there wasn't enough time. Maybe in a post gem version. Wow. This was very. Um, what's the word? Puzzling. I have no idea what exactly was going on, what those spheres or this little floating islands represent, but uh, whatever it was, it wasn't going too well f for them. So this was more uh, like uh, an uh, animated cutscene, like you said, it's more of a story experience. Uh, I really like the look of it all and, and this uh, atmosphere, especially with the audio. But. Uh, yeah, I wish there were some mechanics apart from pressing space for, for the next thing. So yeah, I, w I wish there were some kind of game to it, but again, it's, it's clearly a Ludum Dara pro project because uh, overscoping it, I mean, I mean, those graphics and rigging and modeling and everything, uh, this takes a lot of time, so it makes sense that you just didn't have any time to put in actual mechanics. But yeah, maybe, maybe it's just some kind of Pong or mini game or so, but I mean, you said that you're still Oh, I can move the mouse. This is... So if I'm mo moving the mouse, I'm getting trippy visuals. So sorry for anyone experiencing uh, epileptic uh, feelings now. So I will leave the mouse alone. So yeah, I wish it were more of a game. This is all. But so far, I, I love the look and even love uh, how this uh, font is looking. This looks like you took Korea New and just let it decay. Very nice. And oh, please let me make it full screen in some way or or another. <laughs> but uh, hey, at least at least we saw something something big being destroyed or created or both. So that's always something. So uh, two thumbs up. And yeah, like I said, I wish it were more of a game. So let's um, get uh, the screen resolution back to the recommended size and hunt for the mouse pointer. <laughs> Fun fact, when I first uh, got uh, two screens, or I think even when I switched to a different screen resolution from 640 by 480, when I switched to uh, tw uh, 1024 by 768, this was uh, 25 years ago or even longer. I was first, I was afraid, I was petrified, no, 
wrong wrong line. I was afraid that I would lose my mouse pointer, and now with three screens, I uh, regularly do. So uh, yeah, in the end, I was right, <laughs> just not at the right time. So um, again, let's see if there is any new um, submissions in the meantime. Uh, good, okay. So there's no new submissions, so I think we can use the um, CSV file that we already have for uh, the next round of randomly generated fun for us. By the way, I should clean up my desktop a little bit. So RNG2000, okay, so those pertain to the RNG2000. I move it to the to the different screen there. Yeah, everything's messed up with Windows. <laughs> as soon as you change the screen resolution or just move the taskbar to a different screen, I don't know what's going on. So fill plays, build one, network, Dropbox. Wonderful, wonderful. Rexgun says, I'd like to submit. Wonderful, you can. Let me just um, copy and paste the link again to my submission form. Uh, I, I really should put it somewhere, I don't know, <laughs> in a bot or so that you, you or hmm, maybe in the description. Uh, the thing that I don't have it right now is because I'm using restream.io and I'm not entirely sure how all of this works because to me it's lacking some features, for example, being able to schedule a stream under a certain uh, YouTube URL. Because I did this last week and then the chat wasn't synced up, so I, the chat wasn't relaying to, to, to Twitch from YouTube and vice versa. So this is why I'm doing things now how Streamio wants it and I can't do anything nice with description or something. So just just so you know. Okay. Um, Rext gun. Uh, so if you submit it now, um, then it should should show up here. I give you another half a minute. <laughs> so maybe it will show up. Then I will just recreate the CSV file for the RNG 2000 again. So um, let me just check there. Okay, someone's still watching on YouTube and people also on Twitch are watching, which is wonderful. Thank you so much for taking time out of your hard earned. Um, jobs. Well, it's Sunday now, so I just realized halfway through the sentence that this doesn't make sense. But anyway, I really appreciate that you take the time to to watch me stream games and say and to have a sip of water whenever I hear the word unicorn. Okay. Um. No, a new line has shown up there, but yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, maybe maybe after this I will play another uh, patron game and then have the RNG 2000 um, make a last run because I'm already streaming for uh, almost three hours and my <coughs> my throat is already getting a bit husky. Okay, so RNG, what shall it be? Conservation Inc. by Owen Silva. CSV line 16. Uh, the link is copy pasted now to the chat. That's CSV line 16. In the meantime, I create here the sheet while I take out CSV line 16. There we go. Save. And there is a Twitter handle, yes. So prepare, be prepared to be um, tweeted at. Tweet, hey, I'm playing your game right now on stream. There we go. So let's make this a bit bigger there. Conservation Inc. by Owen Silva. Yeah, I, I wasn't having problems with the first name, but it's. I'm assuming it's Silva. Maybe I should clarify this with how to pronounce your name, that if it's standard English or German pronunciation, I'm pretty sure it's just if it's all consisting of lead speak and strange characters or Slavic languages that I'm having problems with. 
Okay, so uh, there is nothing about the game. Your documentaries are the best. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. But I have no idea about the game, but apparently it speaks for itself. At least I would think so. Conservation Inc., a game by sharks. Scientists have discovered a planet that somehow has dinosaurs on it. Who would have thought? You are tasked with protecting them for as long as possible. Juggle money, safety and research in this real-time strategy management game. I'm really sorry, I will be sucking at your game. Our artist made a rough sketch of the dinosaur but then had to go, so everything else is program art by me. I'm more comfortable with pixel art but since our artist did an actual drawing I was forced to step outside my comfort zone. I hope it doesn't detract from your experience. This game is complicated, scroll down for a guide. Oh dear, I'm really sorry for not entirely understanding your game, I know where this is going. Play it here. Keep in mind the web version of the game is post gen which improves the wording on the tutorial and makes it so that you can choose how much money you want to start off and what the grace period should be. If you want the original you will have to download it or check out these screenshots. Features. Fully implemented research and money system. Advertising campaigns. Okay, so we can buy fly buy <laughs> flies, poses, billboards, web ads and a website. Four disasters to experience. I love disasters to experience. Looks like uh, the dinosaurs are about to be hit with an asteroid. So this is not too good for them. And effectiveness system. I have no idea what's going on here. Your shelter broke and the dinosaurs died to the hurricane. Okay. But good thing is there's a guide. Resources. There are two types of resources, research and money. You can see how much of each you have on the top bar. Can we? Money, research. Yeah, makes, makes sense. You get research and money by buying research buildings and ad campaigns. The in-game tutorial does a good enough job of walking you through this. Each ad campaign slash research building will give you plus blank money or research a second or research a second. So per second we get resources, got it. You can see how much it will give you in the purchase menu. Natural disasters. There are four natural disasters that can occur and kill the dinosaurs. Uh, to stop them you must research a natural disaster counter. A tip is to hold on to your research until a disaster occurs and then dump it all onto the counter into a counter to that disaster. This, this makes sense. It's like in SimCity where you don't <laughs> don't build uh, fire stations until you have a fire and then you just litter, it, litter them around them. Once you own a counter you can click its button again to upgrade it. This will increase its effectiveness. Effectiveness? Uh, the effectiveness system may seem daunting but it's really simple. Your counters are not perfect. If you buy and launch the anti-asteroid missile with an effectiveness of 30% it will only hit and destroy the asteroid 30% of the time. Yeah, this makes sense. This is straightforward. I've played XCOM so I know uh, how loud I need to shout at my screen when there's a chance of 90% and I'm experience the 10% where the hit misses. Action menu. When a disaster occurs, take action button will appear in the top right. Using each counter will require money, anywhere between 200 and 275 to use them. When you have the money you can click the save them button to use the counter. This will take you to a mini game. Mini game. When clicking save them a mini game will open up. Playing this will increase the effectiveness of whatever counter you're about to launch. Effectiveness increases the longer you survive. Okay, so um, be good at the mini game to uh, work against the odds of um, yeah, a percentage. If you have any other questions or found a bug, comment and I'll be happy to help. So let's play then um, the version that we have here that says this is the, the post gen version with, with some fixes. So let me get my trusty headphones and run a strategy game in full screen. I said in full screen. In full screen. There we go. Is there audio? Because I don't hear any sound right now. Okay, highly recommended the tutorial. I like the highlights there. <laughs> And the flipbook effect on the dinosaurs. I mean, I understand what you meant with its program art, but still, I mean, you had time to implement this little, this little Paper Mario flipping effect. This is nice. So let's hit the tutorial. Hey, Conservation Inc. is a game about keeping dinosaurs from dying. Okay, the tutorial will tell you. 
If you missed something because it was made hastily in the last hour. So please read everything thoroughly or you will miss a step. Blah, blah. <laughs> I like this on the button. Blah, blah. Especially on a tutorial. It says, yeah, yeah. Don't bother me with tutorial. I want to play the game. Two seconds later. How do I play the game? Why did not anybody tell me? There are two main resources. Research and money. Blah, blah. You'll need money to use. Okay. So, click the add campaigns button. Red is the cost of a campaign. Middle is the name. Green tells you how much it gives a second. So this must be the most expensive, but we get the most per second. Buy the first one and then hit close below to exit this menu. You purchased NA flyers. Good. Good. Notice your money is increasing. Yes, I noticed. This is lovely. Getting research works in a similar way. Open the research buildings menu and let's Get the chemistry bench then, right? Research plus 10 per second. You purchased and I see there are new options then. This is nice. I like this little bar that keeps popping up. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it uh, covers the close button. You will need to research natural disaster counters to stop them. This is done in the re research menu. Okay. Where is the research menu? Click open research. Okay, there it is. In here you can see the cost to buy counters. Red. What counter is? It is middle and its effectiveness. Use your count. Your counters are not perfect. Okay, so clicking on a counter uh, will also upgrade it, increase its effectiveness. Now buy the asteroid counter. And now it's 13%. Good. You upgrade it and there's an asteroid coming. Quick hit the take action button. Uh, where is the take action button? Uh, there it is. Okay, I was looking for it there. Use the anti-asteroid missile to save the dinosaurs. Yes, save them! Mini game. This is a mini game to increase... Here is a mini game you can play to increase the effectiveness of your counters. And don't worry, time is paused while playing the mini game. Okay, so... Ah, okay, so I'm using now WASD. And apparently we have to... To take as little damage as possible or stay alive for the longest amount of time so but i really like this that you send an anti-asteroid missile with an effectiveness of 40 percent the asteroid wiped out all of the dinosaurs yeah it was 50 50 but not quite 50 50. okay so menu or menu let's go to the green menu and an embedded page says an error occurred while the Unity content in this page see your browser JavaScript console. So, you know what? I will hit now trusty F5 and try again without a tutorial because I think I understand how this game is played. I should probably update my post gen version. It was rushed. Yeah, pretty much any version is rushed, right? With Ludum Dara. Oh, by the way, I didn't play cr uh, credits. Uh, so everything was done by Owen Silva, apart from the dinosaur rough sketch, which was done by Adam White. So co close or cool? You know what I say? Cool. Okay, so let's try this game and um, normal, easy. I'm new. Let's. So okay, let's let's. I really like those five digits after the comma. This is nice. So I'm playing it easy and I need a lot of starting funds. Let's go with 80. Scientists have just discovered a new planet that has, that has dinosaurs on it. You are tasked with keeping them safe for as long as possible. Okay. 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 Oh, there it is. Look at this. Down here is the OK button. Okay. So, um, ad campaigns. We need money, so let's buy some posters, or oh, flyers, and get 50 research, so I can only buy this one here. But uh, the game said I should probably hold on to my research uh, until a disaster strikes. So, ad campaigns. So, I will save up until I can afford the posters. How much were the posters? 120. So we're still in the grace period. There are 120 posters. Good. And the research. Um, flood. Earthquake. Oh, incoming. What's incoming? Oh, damn it. Uh, an asteroid. Research. Buildings. No. Um, yeah, the asteroid counter. Sure. Why not? Was this good or bad? Oh, I didn't click take action. Oh, let's try this again. Let's try this again. So, 
Of course, yeah. Select the research. So first the ad campaign. Um, research buildings, right, forgot to take those. But our dinosaurs are still still roaming here. This is cute. You know what? Uh, one bit of feedback. Uh, the take action button, uh, when it's uh, on top right, I really didn't see it. So if, you, if it pops up somewhere here where it says incoming, if I just click on the incoming, this would be uh, the thing that I would uh, do uh, intuitively. Can I afford the posters already? So take action. You need to upgrade industrial pump. Close uh, industrial pump. What? Flood counter. Take action. Oh no, you have the industrial pump to save them, but not the 250. Um, 250. No. Oh god. Come on, 250. There we go. Save them. Okay, good. Oh, this was close. So I think I'm the safest when I'm here. Man, this is a huge ass dinosaur, I have to say. At least those asteroids are very slow moving. But this one here, this one will get us. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, damn it! Forty-seven percent. So yeah, let's let's see how this is this is going. So ad campaigns. We need more money. Can I afford a billboard? I can't. But posters. I can't afford posters. And okay, you know what? This was good. I can afford. How much can I afford? Uh, a lab. That was close. But the industrial pump saved them. Cool. Cool, so um, research buildings with 400 I can afford a small lab. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I'm saving up now my research there in case of a disaster. I think I'm getting a hang of this now. And for the ad campaigns, yeah, the... Oh, an asteroid is coming. Research, asteroid counter, level one. Yes, okay, so take action. Um, yes, save them. Okay, what would make this uh, mini game a little bit more uh, compelling would be if my dinosaur is a bit smaller and the asteroid is a bit faster. So, because right now it's. I know that this one here, or even the small one here, will, will get me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's only a matter of when, not if. Uh, yes. Oh, this was lucky. This was close, but your missile saved them. Cool. Cool. So we can run another ad campaign. This is good. Because we need some more research buildings. The next one is what's what's going what's going on? Take action. Concrete shelter. Okay. Um Earthquake, hurricane shelter. Take action. Save them. Okay. I really like uh, this uh, variety in in different catastrophes. Can I move over there? Am I safe? No, probably not. Probably not. I will stay here. So I hope I managed to get to 40 again. I mean, I probably am not lucky this time. I was lucky twice before with a chance of only 40%, so even if it's now over 50, I think it won't be enough. Oh, can I make it? Well, at least. That's a huge tornado. Sorry, a hurricane. I had to chuckle at the image of uh, those big dinosaurs just going orderly after one another uh, into this little shelter. Yeah, it was close, but it saved them. Cool. And we got a lot of money, so let's uh, run another ad campaign. How much do we have? We can, we can 
afford the fake news viral campaign. So what do we have next? Take action, uh, earthquake, research, earthquake counter, good. Take action, yes, save them. Ugh. Okay, so the clicking between uh, the counter measure and, and the take action, I think this is the most stressful part for me in this game. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to stay there and see as far as I can can bring it, but it never will be reach it will reach around 50, right? <laughs> but hey, this is this is cool. You send an earthquake bubble with an effectiveness of 45%. I don't know what an earthquake bubble is, but uh, I'm not very hopeful. That was close, but you bubble saved. Apparently, I was very lucky. So, you know what? With all this money, we can we can research buildings. You know what's a supercomputer? And run another ad campaign. And yet another ad campaign. Earthquake killed off. Oh damn it! So I really needed to keep take actions or something. Ah uh, man, I was too too occupied with trying to earn money. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh man, yeah, this was... Sorry, what was the game called? I have to, I have to uh, look it up. It's called Conservation Inc. So essentially you're playing as Jurassic Park, but without the copyright uh, infringement. <laughs> uh, this was this was very interesting. Uh, like I said, I, I liked that uh, you had to to act fast uh, in certain places when when the catastrophe was there. I didn't know how much time I would have to take action. So as you can, uh, as it was very obvious that I was just scrambling to to get to the button and also afford the countermeasures first. I really like the variety of different, uh, uh, also the illustrations with the animations and the sound effects of all those different disasters because for a gem I think just one disaster would have done but then again of course you need to research different disasters right so this is but it was cool that I saw them all and uh, yeah if you want to keep working on it uh, I think yeah just uh, uh, overall um, what your tutorial did was a very good job at teaching me what was important about the game which I think was lacking at the very first game that I played today so I didn't feel too overwhelmed because like I said the tutorial did a good job of telling me maybe it was also because I read through the LD page so overall I, th I say thank you so much for submitting I give you two thumbs up and I hope you keep uh, working on this game so this was Conservation Inc. Let's mark it as played. And for one last Patreons games. Oh my god, I'm really running behind there. But um, I think with next time, yeah, maybe I will do another video. <clears throat> but it's so many games. I mean, it's so great that I have so many patrons, but also it's so many games. And I think I'm, I'm running a bit behind. Row to sheet. Ugh. Getting a stiff back already. Which is unusual because this is my usual posture in front of the computer, just like Mr. Burns. Ah, excellent. Spring tree. Oh, I've seen uh, this game in uh, Discord from uh, Inception, actually. But I have no idea how to play it, so. Let's update the overlay, wonderful, and make sure that the people involved are getting a shout out on Twitter. There we go, tweet, there we go, wonderful. Okay, so I'm playing a spring tree, a game by Lilo Cormick, Lady Mistleaf and Joshua McLeod. Uh, I want to say McLean, but is I think this is wrong. So Joshua McLean, McLean, and uh, Lilo Cormick, Lady Missilif, and Joshua Mc, yeah, Ugh, stupid Phil again, wondering how to pronounce a name and then not really looking at where it says how to pronounce the name. So yeah, very cool. Uh, anything about the game? Nope. Anything else you want to tell me? Thanks. And thank you so much for submitting. Let's have a look at the Ludum Dara page and let me copy you the link. 
There we go. Spring Tree. Game by Joshua McLean, Lady Mistleaf and Lilo Cormick. And look at this. This is adorable. Um, there is nothing else about the game, so it's all to team. Lilo Cormick was the programmer, Lady Mistleaf the designer and the artist, and Joshua McLean the composer. It was done with uh, Unity and PaintNet. Oh, there it is. How to play. Keep the tree of life alive and growing. Another growing game. I like this. Extinguish fires with your fire hose. Replenish your water tank with water bubbles. Let water reach the soil. Don't let the fire touch the tree. You win when the tree has grown big and healthy. Also try to make a high score. Extinguishing a fire awards 100 points. A fire touching the tree takes away 50 points. So. Um, I will keep it with uh, the wisdom from Frankenstein's monster that is FIRE BAD! Controls move and left right arrow or Q and D or A and D, this is nice, jump, up arrow, space, W or C. So pretty much anything that you could possibly hit when you're uh, <laughs> pressed for action that is somewhere it's up it's space it's whatever just it it will do the right thing this is nice gamepad oh there's even gamepad controls this is cool and uh, the windows version of spring tree i like this colors scheme of purple and green because those are opposing colors on the color wheel and you don't see purple and green that often apart from of course the green and purple tentacles in a day of the tentacle did i yeah wasn't quite sure if i hit download properly <laughs> come on Come on! Oh, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong uh, monitor. So there we go, spring tree, and I'm assuming there will be sound. Okay, the sound is now much. Uh, higher than before I think can you hear me is there enough as the volume at the right level I really like like it it's upbeat and has this kind of um, pastoral sense this is a very nice music it also tells me that it's going to be a big adventure so let's have a look at the credits programming by Lilo Cormick graphics by Lady Mistleaf and music by Joshua McLean wonderful and buttons animated buttons I oh, love this okay so controls as we've seen uh, before nothing wrong here and settings music and sound effects cool so I think I'm all set for the game so not oh this is this is bad. <laughs> this game plays much faster than anticipated. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Good. Okay, so I got... Good. I can't have more than three drips of water. And I like it that uh, the tree occludes a little bit here of uh, the playing field. Oh god, I won't make this. No, 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 no. Oh, this was close. Oh, I win! Score 1150. This was nice. You know what? Let's try this again. Let's try this again. And I'm out of water again. This was bad. Okay, so if the flames hit the upper portion of the tree, this is also bad, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Come on! Oh, well, this was a bad score. I will try again now here. So it's always where you have to uh, decide whether you use the water yourself or or just uh, let it go past you so that it can get to the tree. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. No. Huh, apparently I was very good the first time. Let's try this one more time. 
I don't know what I did differently the first time, but I think I was just lucky. No, no, I can't do anything there. Sorry, tree. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's nothing I can do here. This was bad. Yeah, 700. Yeah, let's give this one more try. Yeah. Uh. Oh, bad. This is bad. Ah! I like it that you can jump uh, through platforms from the bottom. And what I don't like <laughs> is uh, the controls feel a bit too uh, floaty to me with the jumping. Is it me or uh, is the jumping always at the same height that you do? Because when I'm tapping the button, I, I suspected that I would be jumping just a little bit. But whew, yeah, this is a very, very nice and arcadey experience. In comparison uh, to the last game, I like it that this is very low on complexity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, high on re replayability because I felt that I'm in control what I'm doing with the other uh, games before, the, the strategy games before. I was more or less at the mercy of a random number generator in a sense. So um, yeah, this, this was very nice. This was very nice. And the music was, like I said, very upbeat and friendly and it's like we're on a big great adventure. So two thumbs up and uh, also very nice art. Like I said, I like the art style and uh, need to calm down now and not get fired up myself. Uh, although, also, I like uh, the nice throwback to the original Mario Bros. A game with the pipes where you also had, uh, uh, I think the layout was pretty, pretty similar to that. So yeah, nice, nice throwback. Okay, so let's have a last time a look at the RNG 2000 or at least uh, all the entries, if anyone. And yes, Rex T. Gun has also submitted their game. So let's make sure that I take out those that I played so far. That they don't skew the random number generator there. And all the green ones have a yes. Okay, cool. Fill the menu, create CSV. And I will clear also the overlay there on OBS. There we go. <sighs> so many games, so many games. Like I said, it's it's really cool that the amount of games where you just go around and do basic platforming with nothing else added to it or you just have your uh, run-of-the-mill top-down shooter. I really like it that uh, apparently um, this has, uh, yeah, has People have tired of it to make stuff like this. For example, when the theme was an unconventional weapon and people were just making top-down shooters where you shoot strawberries or chickens, but everything else was the same. Uh, I th and uh, Yeah, I think this is really not uh, making the most of the theme where it encourages you to think differently. And with this gem, uh, yeah, I, again, like, like I said, it, it really amazes me how many uh, uh, non-violent games there are. This is great. So let's download this again. Uh, last time for today is a CSV file. <clears throat> Already getting a frog in my throat, as we say in German. When you, you feel like you have some kind also the other thing is we have a dumpling in our in our throats. Yeah, when you feel that you've been talking a little bit too long and it starts hurting a bit. So there is the CSV file. Just make sure that everyone is on there. Yes, Rex T. Gun's game is also there. And let's take it for a last spin today and see. Yeah, what's the last game for today? Operation KIA by Z. Yep, guy. Sayab guy. Line 56. This one here. And yes, here is the link to the game in the chat. And let's find it also here. There we go. Row to sheet.
And Twitter handle, yes, we got one. So I don't know if you're here in the chat, but if not, you probably will be because you be ready to be mentioned. There we go. Operation KIA or Operation Kia after the famous car brand. How to pronounce your game? Say up guy. Oh, I said say up guy. Say up guy. This makes sense. Yeah. And about the game, anything else you want to tell me about the game? I mean, I don't think so. Anything else you want to tell me? Hi. Hi, Zyap guy. Say up guy. Um, all they say is Zyapki. So, so sorry. Sorry for that. Operation KIA. Is it killed in action or just Kia? Welcome, human. Try to survive me. Arachnomar. Sounds like a spider to me. Kill zombies and feed me their souls so I can be all powerful. I mean, so I can live to see my dear grandkids. <laughs> if you fail, your family will die. <laughs> so we got three levels, one weapon and three zombies. Okay, I really like the graphic style there with the pixel graphics and the outlines and oh my god, so much gore. Fight your way through this crunched and rushed piece of art. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> well, this mess was was hard to make, so yeah, enjoy, I guess. I mean, it it looks it looks very nice, uh, and there's even a faint glow effect on everything. So what it says? Um, shoot zombies! Shoot even more zombies! Collect souls and stuff! Yay! If you like or dislike the game, please rate it accordingly and give any feedback. Thanks. So I'm um, looking forward to this pixely mess with brains <laughs> and a lot of gore operation kia so i don't know what do we have to keep alive in this game but apparently it is ourselves and it has a nice icon i always like it when games have a nice icon i just closed chrome sure why i mean it's the last game of today so i think i think this is okay but yeah like i said i always uh, like when games have a nice icon clearly this means you had too much time <laughs> okay i will play it at full hd at ultra graphic settings and hope that the stream will keep up, but it looks like it will. Oh, is there music? I don't hear any music right now, but the mouse cursor... Huh, I don't know if you can see this, probably not, but the mouse cursor seems to be broken. Because as soon as I move it into the window, um, it's, a, it's just a grid of dots. So apparently there's something wrong in its texture page there. But yeah, may maybe this was intentional. So credits, can I click the credits? Oh yes, this, this is, hello human, here are the credits. Programming, Zyab guy, art Zyab guy, level Zyab guy. He made this mess for Luma 46. Hope you enjoyed it, I guess, please leave a rating. Good, good or bad, bye. <laughs> I really like this, this, this dirty stained hand scrawled letter. This is nice. Okay, so let's, let's play the game. Hello human, my name is Arakonar. Yes, okay. I have consumed you for... Oh, so, okay, so uh, it's different to what uh, there is on the Ludumdao page. My name is Arachnomar. You're currently in my body. I have consumed you for a reason. I am dying. I need you to kill the parasite zombies inside and feed me their souls. If you manage to keep me alive for 10 more days, I will let you and your family, which were, evil, which were consumed months ago, uh, go. If you fail, however, you will die and zombify inside of me. Collect 30 souls. Good luck. Arakoma. I'm not a spider. My parents just hated me. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Okay, press anywhere to continue. There's music. I hear a Roland TR-303. And now a Roland TR-909. So, okay, I think this is a top-down shooter, right? Okay, I'm just ran out of of bullets. Or or not? Okay, R is to reload. 
but apparently whenever I reload I'm just stuck in my tracks and I don't know for how long but this is good to know that when you reload but you know what I just realized that I can reload when I'm not even out of bullets I'm not quite sure if this is intentional okay this must be a super zombie then good so I'm collecting a lot of souls now this must be a souls like then The music has uh, reminds me a little bit of the soundtrack of uh, Hotline Miami. And while I don't like Hotline Miami, I like the sound actually. It's one of those guilty pleasures. It's not my usual sound that I like, but for some reason it's, it's nice. So um, maybe I should reload more often. Yes, yeah, some kind of indication of how long I still need to wait when I'm reloading would have been nice. Oh god. But like I said, I, I think I'm abusing the reloading system now because like I said, I can reload while I'm <laughs> while I'm already uh, or still shooting. Hello human, good job on day one. I'm proud of you. Just kidding. Uh, you just need to keep doing this for nine more days so I can take over the world. I, I mean, so I can live longer. T just keep feeding me the souls for power. Life power, of course. Total ended physical strength. R remember, if you mess up, your family will be executed. Yay! See you tomorrow. <laughs> Arak Numar. Uh, that, that's nice. Okay, so let's get some more bullets then. And reload, just to be safe. Always be reloading when you're not in a firefight or even shortly after a firefight. This is what uh, Counter-Strike told me. Okay, so this seems to be a dead end, or is it the outline of a cat? Yeah, this was a dead end. Or probably just the appendix of Arachnomar. <laughs> By the way, I, like the, I really like the graphics there. Come on, reload. There we go. Reloading again. Okay, for some reason I'm not triggering these zombies anymore. I mean, this is good in terms of uh, for me playing the game, but I'm not quite sure if this was intentional. Congratulations on completing day two. I'm quite happy about your success. Thanks to you, I'm more powerful than ever. I mean, I meant to say I can live to see my grandchildren. Your family is in good condition. Who knew humans could live by eating moldy cheese particles and drinking red water? We still don't know what that thing is. <laughs> Continue harvesting souls and remember, if you don't try, your family will die. See you tomorrow. Uh, this. Okay, so we got a lot of bullets here. So I'm assuming shit's going down now. So I'm very cautiously moving forward. Playing catch up with the camera. Okay, just enough bullets for the first three here. Good reloading. And reloading now, now for sure. So uh, essentially, I just have to make sure that I'm not outrunning the camera and that I'm always have bullets in my gun. Good. A lot of zombies here, okay. This is why the game gave me so many uh, ammo packs at the beginning. This is like uh, Wolfenstein, the, the old one, where you know, oh, 
There are a lot of health packs and ammo. Uh, yeah, this is probably for a reason. Hello human, unfortunately the creator of this game, Zyab Guy, did not have enough time to make 10 levels. So this is where I say farewell. For your family, they are safe. Until the game developer decides to actually finish and release this game, you will not see them. For me, I think I can live for now. Goodbye human, come back anytime. Oh, isn't this nice? So um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure of where <laughs> this game was going with where it said 10 days and there were only, uh, and the description said there are only three levels, but now I know. <laughs> um, in terms of gameplay, um, interestingly, it was pretty much exactly the same thing that I was commenting on just before that I said, yeah, it's just the top-down shooter where you have to kill things because reasons. I mean, I, I get it now with the soul collection stuff, but I'm not quite sure um, that uh, this was a good fit for the theme. On one hand, on the other, I really like uh, like the humor in the game. For one thing, the cute pixel graphics of all those bloody zombies with their eyes popping out and their brains just lying in the open. And of course, uh, the very passive and not so passive aggressive notes from Arachnomar, who is not a spider but had just mean parents. I mean, this is... <laughs> This is hilarious. So um, yeah, the execution was was very nice, and I also like with the ending. It mean it it makes sense that of course if you don't have enough time, it's just break the fourth wall and have the game characters tell the player, yeah, it's not it's not my fault. The game developer they didn't finish. So yeah, I'm really sorry that I can't be uh, the the mean guy that the game just build me up to be. So I give you two thumbs up and thank you so much for submitting and let's have a look at the clock and oh my god it's half an hour past midnight here and I have to get up early tomorrow so um, I think let me just switch over there to the full camera again. Hi it's me in big and oh my god <laughs> I look a little bit <laughs> wasted. <laughs> um, yeah just wanted to say thank you so much for dropping by and for yeah, sticking with me trying to play Ludendare 46 games of uh, ver ver varying uh, uh, difficulty, especially to me, as you've seen it, the, the survival management games where I'm on a clock, I'm really not good at those. As soon as your game is more arcadey, apparently I'm not too bad at those. Again, if you haven't submitted your game, and uh, I'm still doing one other of those streams, let me just paste it here again the link to the uh, submission form uh, yeah I just wanted to say you th thank you so much for submitting your game in the first place if you haven't now you can still submit them for another stream next week same time same channel and uh, yes if you become a patron your game is guaranteed to be played I usually I just have uh, three uh, episodes of in this series of Phil plays your Ludumdale games but with that many patrons this games still unplayed I think think I will make a fourth uh, show where I'm just playing patrons' games. I'm not quite sure if you're, if, if it really is patrons's. Uh, anyway, I will be playing just games from my patrons, uh, just that they all get their games played by me and commented on with uh, outside perspective because I feel this is sometimes very helpful especially when you're making a game on your own and you don't really have anyone that's there to test your game and then you watch someone else who doesn't know a thing about your game and see them unable to get through the first door then don't pick up the weapon and then uh, just shit talk the game about how stupid it is while they are the ones who aren't unable who, who are not able to play the game what is this? My, my stomach is rumbling. I haven't eaten today properly. Well, I had some coffee, but apparently, who knew that this is not considered a healthy meal? So, yeah, this is why I hate scientists. Anyway, again, uh, sorry for keeping you any longer. Again, thank you so much for submitting your game. Thank you so much for watching me on either YouTube or Twitch. Uh, again, I hope you had uh, an entertaining time with me, and if not, try again next time. <laughs> Man, I'm really bad at, at hyping <laughs> my audience up. Anyway, again, I will finish off now my last sip of water. And for this, I will say, Unicorn, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Cheers.